Hey. And here he is. What's direct up? Direct from some sort of dark dimension. Yeah. Pumpkin guy. What's up? How's it going? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. When? No, it isn't. It's Thursday. Oh, Thursday stream. That's right. We were busy yesterday. I'm sorry, Thursday crowd. I'm sorry. Uh, we had to go to the doctor. You know, they had to poke and prod and be like, let me take your blood. <laughs> And then they're like, we need more blood. Come back tomorrow. And I'm like, really? Bro, look at me. Look at my size. I only got so much blood. Human. What's up? Thank you. Greetings, PG and John. 17 months of PG goodness. The Phoenix well. Monroe. A human did a thing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dimension King, 25 moons. 16 and 25 moons. Thank you, Phoenix Monroe. Dimension King with two eyes. What's up? How's it going? Oh God, no, dude. We uh, we like kind of woke up early. We had we had, yeah, hey, you ever get a blood test where you can't eat? I hate that. They're like, don't eat for like twelve hours before it. Oh, where are you going with that, dude? Why's he got a little dagger in it? He's not getting Elden Ring. I'm not paying sixty dollars for a game for so he can play it. It's stupid. Cause it's like Dark Souls. I know he likes Dark Souls. I don't care. Um, no, man. And I couldn't eat. I woke up. I didn't have coffee. They were like, don't have coffee either. I'm like, what am I gonna? Have? You can have water. Shut up. God, I'm so aggravated when I don't have my coffee. I'll tell you what. You just got back from the dentist. See, everyone's doing medical things there. It's fun, right? And I got to tell you. Yeah, yeah, the stealing my pumpkin juice. Here's the thing. All right, if you're going to get your blood drawn, right? Like, no, not with a pen, you idiot. Um, yo, we're, we're sitting there. We listen to this other person, and we're waiting for them to finish so the phlebotomist can get to us, Muchas right? Gracias. Go. Hey, PG. Hope things are going good for you. We shall see. Mwah. You know, they're going to be really upset with my cholesterol. They're going to be like, dude, what do you eat? Candy all day? I'm going to be like, yes. This human is not terrible. What's up? Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder what you're at. 37 moons. Less than three. I want to hear that in Batman's voice. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. That kind of thing? That'd be hilarious. I'm just saying. Where are you? Hey, pumpkin man. Welcome back. What's up? Fallen Rose, Lost Pixie. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. We're waiting for a conversation to end so they can get to us. Uh, you know, I don't want to sit around in the doctor's office waiting, you know, with other grubby people breathing, apparently. Humans really need to stop doing that. Um, yo, these people are having a conversation in a room and I can overhear it. You know what they're talking about? Two so total strangers meet up to get their blood drawn. What do they talk about? Just take a wild guess. You figure it would be politics. You know, maybe, maybe the big game or something like that. Movies? No. They're talking about sympathetic vomiting. And I kid you not. I'm sitting there. I'm, li I'm like, really? And there was this old lady, too. You think would have a little bit more reservation in the topics that they bring up. Like, oh, yes. I'm, I'm a sympathetic vomiter. If I even smell it, I will lose my lunch. You know, I'm sitting here. Of course, I haven't had anything to eat yet because you had to fast for that thing. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm hungry. Well, there goes my appetite. You know, I'm, who does that? Who has casual conversations about sympathetic vomiting? My God, I don't leave the house much. And this is what I walk into. And then you wonder why I don't leave the house. It's ridiculous. Who does that? I'm just saying. It might be a weird day today because it is a Thursday. It's on an odd time. People aren't expecting me. But here we are. So let me say hi. Let us not talk about what. Firmly knows, Lord, what? Now we've been, what? Firmly taking a persona, Lord, 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 what? I mean, the Guardian is, what are you talking about? Lyra, what are you talking about? You have exciting news. Oh, you're going to a con. Nice. There you go. Lyra, hi. Uh, Danny Phantom, hi. Bright lightsaber. Light star. I'm going to say lightsaber. Uh, bright light star, what's up? Lost Pixie, hello. N64. Uh, ask for a copy of your blood work. Oh, I'll get it. Everything's digitized now. Yeah. Uh, Fallen Rose. Uh, Spock, what's up? Mm, Paulin, Paul, what's up? How's it going? Who knew it would be an empath and puke? I know. Who's a puking empath? You know? Whatever you do, don't throw up. I'm a, I'm a vomit empath. Uh, what? God. Should have started making fake gagging sounds. You imagine? It, right? No, man. I'll, no, I, I should have just yelled from the other room. No, dude, I totally get you. I'm I'm an empathetic vomiter as well. And even talking about it, make, blah, blah, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm just like, oh, who does that? I have never, I, you know, I had convers casual conversations about like, oh, yeah, we're expecting some snow. Oh, you're gonna, oh, what are you going to do after this? You know, that kind of thing. I'm like, I'm going to get lunch. And then a person asked me, well, where are you going? I'm like, my house. <laughs> I'm not going out to eat in a restaurant. What are you, nuts? 
time. This doesn't count. You. Go. <laughs> Stopping for a quick hello. What's up? Chemistry lab equations. Jim, hi, Jim, hi, Jim, hi. Oh, chemistry lab equations. Oh, God. Yeah, you got to see that's the math that's important, you know, because you mix that stuff wrong, you explosions. You know, don't Michael Bay your, your exam. Um, thank you, appreciate what's up. Oh, Brandon, are we talking about what the elephant, you know, no, we're not doing that. What the Russian thing? I, I will say, I, I, I feel like it's a bad move that if you're going to invade a place, the first place you don't want to grab a hold of is Chernobyl. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're literally starting your troops off on the worst step possible. Uh, they they can they can hang out there for about a half hour before they start growing things. I don't know, but whatever. I don't want to get into it because it's politics. Hopefully things will work itself out. Everybody be well, stay safe. God, if you're stuck in uh, the debacle over there, and uh, keep your head down. Ugh, God. All right, there we go. Uh, well, it's very nice to see you here, Jay. What's up? Thank you. Uh, Amarel, hi. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, I know. It just goes on. People vomiting all over the place. I came here not to talk about that. I'm already scared for my family in Poland. I know. Good vibes. Yeah, I'm going to good vibes it for everybody. You know, because everybody's like stressed about this. Good vibes. World. Heal up, man. Come on. We got things to do. We got bigger problems on the horizon we're trying to fix. All right. Can't we all just get along, bro? You know? We shall see. Boop. What's up? Mm. What? Formula One teams. I have a meeting about racing. Why? Formula One teams? What? Are they, why would they do that? Ah, know your fallout. Yeah, here we go. Ah. We are all met here. Go. All I can say is good vibes and prayers for yeah. the Ukrainian people. Good vibes. Now, there's always something. There's always something going on in the world. It would be really nice if uh, people would just be like, hey, you know what's coming out tomorrow? Elden Ring. Yeah, I can't wait to look, look forward to playing that. You know, that'd be great, right? I know streamers got early access. I'm not that big. They don't give me free keys, okay? You know, they're not like, oh, the pumpkin guy might want to play this, you know? Come on. It'd be hilarious because I die all the time, you know, and get really frustrated. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll be back in 20, 40 minutes. Anime. Oh, how does that help me now? Good vibes to, oh, Skyrim, what's up? No, 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 no. Apparently you can play today on, P I can play today on PC? How oh. did you know this is not a figment of your imagination? Ooh. Hi. Tian, what's up? Thank you. Thank you for the five minutes. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Are you in a restaurant now or a cafeteria? Is it just background over there? What, what is it? It's basically a, what do you want to call this? A school cafeteria? We just got out of school. She just finished classes. So that's what we're doing here. She's very tired. And uh, the heart is all dressed up in his Elden Ring top tier gear, apparently, waiting for the game to start. There he is. What's up? You excited about Elden Ring? You know, if you got it on PC, you can play already, apparently. Excited? Happy? Doing good? Okay. Uh, what? Has? What? what our cars will be playing? Why? Has is a F1 team. I thought has was a type of avocado. Has avocados. I don't has them. I, I got two left, but they're they're looking a little weird. Uh, Elder Rings in the land of Mordor, where the one ring brings them into the darkness to bind them and stuff. Yeah, it's a Souls game. Yeah, doing pretty well. Good. Yeah. Bum bum bum. Bethesda has finally decided to get rid of their game launcher and move their games to Steam. Well, it's about time. Well, you know, I think that was Microsoft's doing because Microsoft owns Bethesda. They're probably like, dude, we don't need a separate launcher. Get out of here. Everyone just goes to Steam anyway. Throw it up there. Yes, that's one less launcher in your in your console, not consoles, in your PC. Awesome. Boo for launchers. Boo. Herds run off. What's up? Mm -mm. Did I say hi to everybody? Mm, chameleon, what's up? I've got Skyro. Hi. What's up? You. You're gone for a day and the world goes into chaos. I don't know, man. Dude, you see, you see what happens when you break the cycle? Things start falling apart. You have no idea. Yeah, well, well wait till you miss a posting for a foamy cartoon. Dude, the world is going to crack in half. Mark my words. Booth says that. Wouldn't that be funny? Hey, why don't they make somebody make a parody studio? Oh, my God. That's a brilliant idea. Spock, here, hold on to that. 
They need to make somebody needs to make because everything everything's about parodies right now, right? Everyone's like that on memes. So make a boost Thesda game developer, and then you can make like just parody games of Skyrim and Fallout. You know, it'd be hilarious. Come on, do it. I'm sure, there's some indie dev that can do it. Come on. You know, like when they do those D makes, like they did a D make of uh, Bloodborne. It's got to be like you know low res, you know low poly. It looks like a PS one game. Come on, do Skyrim, Skyrim D-Make. Be great. Dark Jedi, what's up? Make sure they don't steal any pumpkin juice in that cafeteria. Dessert. Nobody's going to want pumpkin juice now. Come on, dude. Look at that. Look, we're creeping up on March already. Pumpkin spice latte. Parody Foamy. No, Parody Foamy. Foamy's... I, I, I don't think he's not parody friendly. Doesn't work. I've seen some of them, and they're just like, meh. Like they tried, you know, kind of thing. Um, but there we go. Mm. If if by everybody doing parodies today, you mean just acknowledging to exist and explain that? No, nah, I know it's not a joke, but go. I had said to my friend a week ago that gives it like three days, and Russia will invade oh, the Ukraine after the Olympics, and look what happens. Happens. I hate when I'm right. Yeah. Why, did they get bitter because uh, one of their people didn't win something? I mean, come on. Come on, Russia. Be cool. Don't make us go back to the, those those rocky days of Cold War boxing thing, you know? I don't want, I don't want to have to have this whole cycle repeat. But we're, we're pretty much repeating the 80s here, right? Who's ready for another Cold War and threat of imminent, imminent doom? But then some really good movies that are pro-America. Oh, God. Oh, can we stop this? Oh man, what what a what a cycle! Huh? I think we've passed the point of Cold War. Uh, I don't know it's still winter though, right? So I'm a little chilly. Um, well, oh, where you go? Ivan Drago was fun. Didn't they CGI? Uh, what's his face? Dolph Lundgren to be in like an old Spice commercial? They kind of deep faked them to look young again for deodorant, or I don't know. Unless they had somebody that looked a lot like them. It's kind of weird. Uh, Edward Rings is a game based on books by George R.R. R. Martin. I wonder if George R.R. R. Martin can actually play those games. You think George R.R. R. Martin is taking a break and sitting down playing a you know nice nice game at Elden Rings, or does he just is that going to just have his blood pressure go right through his skull? Go. Yeah, old spice. Yeah, old spice. Look at the way the robot says spice. Old spice. Oh, God. Maybe if we go back to the 80s, we can have to return to Rick Astley. No, we don't need that because I don't want to be Rick rolled like it's a new. You know? uh, nowhere into the 70s now. Eh. George R. 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 Martin. Yeah. George R. R. Martin. You got to roll the R's. Uh, bump, 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 bump. It's too busy adding wieners. Oh, God. Still with the South Park joke? God. That's an old joke, though. Mm. Humanity. Uh, what? I'm okay. I sent 20 bits, but nothing is said. What? Why? I don't know. Conspiracy. DJ, thank you. I looked up Rick and Morty roll. Oh, God. Rick and Morty roll. Uh, that'd be, that sounds like a good deli, though. You know? I, I don't think I'd want to eat anything there, though. Oh, God. Um, Coffee. I haven't had to be able to have coffee today, so give me words. Go. Howdy all. I finally quit a crappy job yes. and looking for something better. But now I have more time to work on Twitch and maybe yes. YouTube. Also, which do you think is better, Twitch or YouTube? Oh, God, I'm going to say Twitch. I'm going to say Twitch because YouTube is a... a it, it, is, it is a viper's nest of people just not knowing how fair use copyright claims and everything dude just oh god <laughs> i'm gonna say twitch short answer twitch long answer don't expect money to make any money on youtube it's it's so difficult god yeah, especially if you're doing like gaming streams because then everyone claims everything else and then before you know you're getting copyright strikes because somebody else thinks you're using their work when all you're doing is watching a cutscene from a game and that's going to be copy co whatever i don't care yeah the squirrels like YouTube. No, they don't. Uh, 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 uh. Rick and Morty roll sounds like a sushi place. All right. Hey, here's the thing. Speaking of sushi, I found a steakhouse that actually serves sushi. Is that, is that like, is that a thing? 
Oh, God. There was a lag spike there. Oh, Russia, what are you doing to me? Oh, geez. Let me see what's happening. All right, now we're in the green. I don't know what happened. No, if you're a steakhouse, should you be serving sushi? I don't feel like that's a good thing. You know? It's getting to be a thing. It's getting to be a thing. I, I feel like it shouldn't be a thing. Like a sushi restaurant should be a sushi restaurant. Not like, hey, you want steak and or sushi? Maybe it works. They like your glasses. Go to bed. Um, let's see. No, it just seems weird to me. Because I, I don't know. I feel like one place should specialize. Maybe they'll have their, uh, unless it's a Japanese steakhouse. No, it's just American steakhouse. So, yeah. Sushi is the is the rice. The rest is filling flavors. Okay, but it kind of depends on how it's made. It's made. I've had vegetable uh, like sushi, which I don't think is technically by definition sushi, but I don't care about the proper definitions of sushi, so don't correct me. Um, yeah, so what California rolls or whatever they call them, they're all right, you know. But fish is gross to me, so I don't like it. Uh, they have steak rolls now too. Oh, what? That doesn't even make any sense. How are you doing that? Stank house with sushi is like fusion cuisine version of surf and turf. Yeah, but is that is that is that proper? Is that I don't know. Is that, is that like culturally offensive to have steak and uh, sushi next to each other? Get the beef sashimi. I don't even know what that what sashimi. I prefer my fish cooked and flaky. Flaky, but like dandruff. I don't like fish with dandruff. Um, why do the squirrels like YouTube and the orange pumpkin likes Twitch? I don't know, because I, th I think uh, squirrels wouldn't get along with a live audience. You gotta, you gotta remember the squirrels hate humanity, like in every every facet, except some of their arts. That's about it. But even those are becoming trash. So it's like you know, the one thing that made humanity good is getting watered down and destroyed. So yeah, what's the point, right? Um, let's see. Mm. Anyone what new Fairly Odd Parents series for Paramount? God, there's a new Fairly Odd Parents series for Paramount Plus. Why? What is it? Please don't be a live action thing. Are they going to make a live action thing, or is it a cartoon? Does that even need to be done? Oh God! Thin slice of rare meat. Ugh. 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 Oh yeah, make sure I'm not too close to the mic again. I keep doing that. I have this bad habit of that. And I gotta see where my levels are. Yeah, I'm kinda high. Let's push that back a little bit. All right, right about there. That should be okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of Foamy the Squirrel and Pumpkin Guy too. Yes! Even though you like the squirrel, I'll, I'll accept the, you know. That's... They like the squirrel. Most people are here because of the squirrel. That's all right, I get it. I get it, man. Squirrels have been around longer. Um, it's live action and he's a teen. <laughs> Didn't that not work with uh, all grown up with the Rugrats thing? They're like they made them like teenagers and it was just stupid. You know? Is the Fairly Odd Parents being made without Butch Hartman? I have no idea. I didn't even know it was a thing till the second. Fairly Odd Parents did have a live action version a few times. Yeah, I saw like a, what was that, like a Christmas special or something? Seems kind of goofy. Which defeats the whole point of him having fairies. I know, right? That's the whole thing. Basically, you get older, you, you don't have the little fairly fairy godparents kind of thing. You know, you grow out of it, allegedly. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Can we bring up the dumpster fire that is the live action sitcom? Which which one? There's there's a lot of terrible ones. Go! See everyone, DJ, yes, later. The Fairly Odd Parents reboot is live action and Butch Hartman is involved. Oh, Butch Hartman's involved. He's uh, they involved there. So that that could be a thing. Oh, okay, all right. And I gotta ask this one more time. Is is uh John DiMaggio officially out of Futurama? Like for the reboot that's coming out? Like, is there no chance? Because I've been I've been holding out. I've been like, maybe there's a possibility. Maybe there's a possibility of John DiMaggio coming back. But I, I don't know. Last I heard, it was like, uh, no, they're just carrying on without. All growing up, at least had decent concept. Did it? What's wrong with Hartman now? Stargazer, what's wrong with Hartman? What did he do? What did they do? <laughs> okay. There's always something. Yeah, but I want to know if uh, the guy who does the voice for Bender is going to be in there. 
Does he wait until there's a live action Adventure Time or Steven Universe and they make Jake the dog into a CGI abomination? Yeah. Okay. Just got off the phone with the bank to get these bits. What? Love your PG so much, so I put up with red tape. No! Oh, God, never put up for red to red tape for me. Oh, God. Red tape. Ugh. It's like one of those things. I just wanted to buy bits. Oh, sorry. We're going to have this little... Well, what, what are you doing? This is a suspicious transaction. What's happening? They're called bits. And then you got to explain Twitch to them on a the phone. And you're like, well, pull, pull up Twitch. I see the little diamond in the corner. That's... Oh, God. Thank you. I appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Freddie Mills, what? John says he was holding out for more pay for everyone. Normal but they wouldn't budge. So still now. Oh, man. What the F? Jim won my little bit of Halloween every day on a Thursday. Yep. Jim nervous built. So what timeline did I wake up in? Jim spooky also. 13 moon must subbing to my fave little dude beside my dog. Thank Jim you. Ha. 13 moons. I, th I think you stumbled on one of those uh, alternative Loki timelines. We got to watch that, though. We got to watch the Loki series, at least the first season. It took us forever, but we got a free month of Disney Plus that we finally redeemed. So now we're going to do a, a mad dash to get through all the Marvel movies we even care about. Go. Oh, no. I just cut through the red tape to get my paycheck a touch early. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. All right. Well, at least you're getting money. 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 And, well, who does that song, Money? There's a lot of songs called Money. Never mind. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I want to bring this up because what did you do? And it's gone. Where'd it go? All right. It's gone. You, you had the word politics in there and it went away. I'm sorry. We're trying to, we're trying to keep it chill today, even though the world is falling apart. Um, Billy Idol. No, not money, money. No, that one. That, that was an old song that he covered. So. Uh, Proud Family Reboot is now on Disney+. Plus. Why was that a thing? Oh, God. Reboot, reboot, reboot. All the time. Uh, there have been many things wrong with Butch, starting hey, with the... Oh, access fee. Go. I get the need for transaction protection, but sometimes all the protection is just a massive inconvenience. Give me my money. Yeah. Jim no. Tiny Rich, Jim Tiny Rich, Jim Tiny Rich, Jim Tiny Rich, Jim Tiny Rich. Dude, I totally money? get that. I just caught tape that looks red. Or is that blood? A. I don't know. Could be either or. Check with your doctor. <laughs> What, side effects may include blood red tape? I don't know. That sounds wrong. Money, money. What's up? Money for nothing. Oh, that was uh, Dire Straits. Then there was Money Changes Everything by Cyndi Lauper. Then it was like Money, Money 2020, which was done by the network. I love that song. That's a good song. Uh, money, money. It sounds like a weird Cars Devo song, you know? Uh, bum, bum, bin, bin, bin. There are many things wrong with Butch, starting with the Oaxis fiasco and including his $200 commissions, where some look like they've been traced from the better versions of the work. He's just, oh, he's self righteous, allegedly. Allegedly self righteous. I think a lot of people are self. Here's the thing I always give artistic people a bit more leeway than normies because, you know, they're doing creative stuff. So some of them might be like egotistical or just, you know, downright obnoxious. Uh, everyone you find every once in a while you find one that's humble, but you know, at least they're creating stuff, you know, entertaining people. You know, it is a lot of pressure, so you know, take it with a grain of salt there and always separate the creator from the artwork or the whatever they create because then it's like if you dwell too much on the type of person uh, a creative is, then you don't appreciate the work that they do, and then you're just like, I'm never gonna listen to fill in the blank again because you know, they did something stupid, you know. It's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway. Harmon didn't have plans for streaming app for his shows, but no one knew it was going to be what? What? Christian series. Uh, it was a few years since. I haven't heard anything about it since. I'm just going to forget so it's a bust. Probably. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Pink Floyd. That was the, hey, that was Pink Floyd. All right. What did the Grateful Dead do about money? <laughs> they put their logo on everything. That was That was their money. Um, my favorite Cindy Lauper song she is indeed blessing. "Money Changes Everything." It's true. She works hard for her money, so hard for it, honey. She works hard for her money, so you better treat her right. Hey, at least they're working, right? <laughs> oh man, at least somebody's got a job. Uh, thank you. Mm, bum, 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 bum. Oh, take the money and run. Oh, take the money and run. That's some. Mm. 
Wait, they were still making Arthur? Yeah, that just ended, right? When did that start? Yeah, no, Arthur, the little aardvark that didn't look like an aardvark. Um, yeah, apparently that ended. I... There you go. Mm. Uh, why am I not on a podcast? I wasn't invited. I'm not going to call up angry squirrels and say, hey, I should be on your podcast. You know? That's like trying to break into somebody's house in the South. You know? It's like, get off my proper time. Before you know it, I don't have a head. I, I, I'm not doing that. Uh... That show has been on since I was his age. Really? Wow. I have no idea. Hmm. No, I mean, I knew it was on, but I didn't realize how long it was on. Hmm. Why'd they end it? Did people just kind of realize that the character design was weird? No, like, what is that? Uh, what? Da -da 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 Favorite what? Fan art? What? Who's that? Where? Who? Oh, that's somebody else. All right. Arthur literally ended two days ago. Yay! Or is that sad? I don't know. It kind of depends on how you, how you look at it. Although I'm sure that a slight what hype machine would ruin a bit of it. Hype machines ruin everything. That's why I'm not super hyped about Elden Ring, because I feel like everybody just hyped it to death, and I'm just like, oh, my God. You know? I would say it uh, visually it probably lives up to that hype, because I've seen some really good footage from it. Um, but gameplay just looks very Souls-like, so I'm just like, meh, what am I going to do? Mm, kind of overstayed. Kind of overstayed. It overstayed as well. Get out of here, Arthur. One last show, Arthur. And then we're going to... No, it's like... That's what you do. Hey, somebody do a parody of Red Dead Redemption, but instead of Arthur, it's going to be Arthur the uh, Aardvark. One last job, Arthur. We can, we can move on and live. <laughs> oh, God. What are you guys talking about? We're going to rob a bank. I'm not up to that. It is a soul sequel. I mean, dude, it's pretty much, it is actually a direct soul sequel? Like, lore-wise and everything? Then what the hell's Martin doing in there? What the hell does J.R. Martin got to do with that? Then if it's actual soul sequel. Really? Then what's the point? I thought it was a completely different game that just played like a Souls game. I did not know that. Nobody filled me in. They're just like, hey, it's made by the people who make Dark Souls, and it looks like a Dark Souls the game. The animation changed about 10 years ago. It was super stiff and flat compared to the original seasons. Uh, right, right, right. Mm. Fleshing out the law. Hmm. What, Martin is doing that? Does he even know what's going on in, in Demon Souls? Doesn't he got enough on his plate? Did he really approach from software and said, hey, you know what? I can flesh out your lore a bit. Really? Is that what happens? I can't imagine him just sitting there going hardcore on, you know, Dark Souls saying, you know, I really want to just flesh this out. Thank you for referring to the praise that Smiling Friends has gotten since its release. Better than most adult animation, though. Not going to lie. Hmm. Weird. Type is like a double-edged sword in that it can be either bolster your success or undercut it. Depends on how you handle it. Yep. Well, when it happens to us and we're overhyped, I'll, I'll figure out how to handle it. Uh, they told him to just make a new story in the Souls. They really? That's it? They just said, hey, hey, Martin, Martin, Martin. Here, yeah, here's what you do. You take this Souls game. And I just feel like he would be confused by the prospect. You know? I don't know, but apparently he's a decent writer, so I guess he did a thing. All right. Well, no, it's good to know. No idea. Spiritual sequel, not continue continuity sequel. What is it? All right, God. The, what is it? I'm getting ch I'm getting mixed messages here. I'm getting mixed messages. Is it a actually in the? Oh God! Is Elden Elden Ring a Souls specific game? Is it in the Souls universe or is it a spiritual successor? I need. See now I'm getting mixed things. I don't know. I, sorry, I didn't look at the wiki. What do you want from me? Uh, been watching some Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy lately. Some dark, wild humor in there. Yes. Probably one of the last series that had dark humor that was a, geared towards kids. Yeah. But hell no what? Hell no what? Billy and Mandy live action thoughts. Doesn't need to be done. Because then it's going to be like Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Only dumb. Err. Um, let's see. 
Getting back to the separate from the artist thing, certain people won't accept that and respond with the art was a reflection of the artist or something like that. Um, no, art is either the reflection of the artist or a Have reflection a of society. Go. You know what? I used to be a crack shot, able to hit my target from a good distance away. But darn it, I missed you yesterday. Jim, you are. It's fine. <laughs> I wasn't on yesterday. Oh, it's all right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. No, but there's a the thing. It's like, uh, all right, IRL, you're not like the squirrels. Well, maybe a little like Pillsy, you know, because you're derpy. Um, but you're not going around ranting at people like trying to throw nuts at their head. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's, there's something to be said for that. You really got to just kind of disconnect the two. You really do, because it's like, you know, and for people, that that's the thing. For the people who don't understand that, where it's like, oh, well, you can't separate the art from the artist. It's like, uh, did you talk to the artist? Did you like, you know, because like, say somebody makes a really wholesome kind of series of stuff, but IRL, they're just obnoxious bleeps, you know? Then, I mean, what do you do with that? Do you just throw out all the wholesomeness because the person IRL is a schmuck? Or do you, are you just like, no, let's separate them because the wholesomeness is helping people. I don't know. I don't know how people's brains work. That's why I don't talk to them. Uh, let's see. Nobody's sure about the Hatta, though. Ah, the Hatta's just a Hatta. Uh, check out. Ah, Real Monsters. Yeah, that was a thing, too. It's the same devs that made the Souls game, making a new Souls game with Martin fleshing out the story. It, it, now, oh, God. I'll look it up later. Because then somebody else is going to say something else in about five seconds. Mm, nobody's sure about the... Oh, I got that. Uh, how did you know I threw acorns at people? I don't throw acorns. Nobody throw... Don't throw acorns at people. You save that for chat. I don't save anything for chat. What? No, I don't consider you people in the normie sense of the world, word. And take that as a compliment. Go. Butch Hartman believes he should be free from criticism. No, nobody's free from criticism. I mean, he can, he can think that he's above criticism and he can function accordingly, but, you know, that, that it is what it is. Hey, dude, if you're an artist or anything, you're going to get criticized. So you should just either deal with it and accept it, learn from it constructively, or just ignore it if it's toxic. And you know, those are those personality characteristics you got to work on. I more Tim Burton movies in my life. Do we, though? I mean, the last couple, do we? Thank you. Speaking of wholesome, Lore Olympus is in a hiatus. Was rereading it. Big mistake. Now I have more theories. I have to wait an undisclosed amount of time for maybe answers. Ah, well, it is a mostly wholesome comic. Yeah, you can't find a lot of wholesome stuff anymore. Cause everything gets chocked full of garbage. Uh, the internet's getting making things even worse every day. It gets a little worse. Duckman was my show back when USA was in a trash channel. God, I didn't even see, like, did I see a lot of Duckman? I mean, a little bit. Eh. I wouldn't mind more Tim Burton. I would like good Tim Burton movies, okay? I don't want the phoned-in Tim Burton movies. I don't want the, uh, hey, look, I'm Tim Burton, and I made something. I, I want a good, really good Tim Burton movie. Yeah. Butch does think he's above it. He said he won't listen to anyone who hasn't accomplished anything themselves after what he's done. Um... Here's the thing. I think that's kind of a dismissive attitude. It depends on how a person's coming at them, right? Like if you if you're going up to Hartman and you're just like, "Yo, you the last thing you did is trash." Blah 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 blah. And you turn around like, "All right, well, how would you fix it? Make it better." Hold on. I feel insulted when I am called normal. I am not normal. I am any FTP zero psychological gem nervous bilsa. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. But, you know, it depends on how you... I'll, I'll take criticism as long as it comes at me the right way. Other than that, I kind of almost expect Hartman to kind of have that attitude because he's probably just bombarded with obnoxious people that quite literally either don't have an artistic perspective or kind of haven't done anything, you know? And that's not to say people who aren't art artistic don't have constructive criticism, but again, it all depends on how it's you know, put out there. Yeah? I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, hmm. I don't know. 
But that's weird. I wouldn't be like, you know, oh, I'm not taking any criticism unless they've done as much as I have. Hmm. Yeah, so, was, uh, all right, fine. As long as they've uh, cut up a sock and painted a pumpkin at some point in their life, they, they have their constructive criticism is valid. All right, you happy? There you go. You guys are good. Um, but there you go. There's going to be that one person. I've never carved a jack-o'-lantern in my life. Get out of here. Your opinions mean nothing. Um, but <laughs> What's up? Uh, I kind of see where he's coming from with that attitude, but let's be fair. His art ain't that hot. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of artists who's... I, th I Here's the thing now. It, would they have been as popular, like uh, the Hartman person, would be as popular if he didn't come out when he came out? You know what I'm saying? Like, quite literally. Yeah. Zograd, what's up? How's it going, Zograd? Hope you're doing well. I don't know why it sung it like that. Hope you're doing well. Mm, bum, 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 bum. You're yeah, resting. Uh, we're in your arguments about what fictions affects reality and things you watch in fiction as a kid colors your word view, however subtle, as an adult. If that were the case, then we'd have to go back a generation and watch the videos in Billy Mandy filled with morbid humor. Yeah, but the, here's the thing. Now, I, I, that argument about, um, well, fiction impacts reality. Um, only if your mind can't differentiate the two, that's when you have the issue. It's all about the, the viewer's mind. And if a, a mind can't handle and separate fiction from reality, then they probably shouldn't be watching it. That goes for reading books, watching movies, playing games. You know? Oh my God, I read this book about, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I went on a- I think Hartman's biggest scandal was a pair finance streaming service that only after funded, he called it a Trojan horse for Christianity to children. <laughs> well, good times. But we're not getting into religion here. But there's always something. Butch ain't Todd McFarlane or... What? I don't know. You're kind of low on the totem there. But uh, I know, you know Todd McFarlane kind of has a very flippant attitude towards Thank certain you. things. You know, Where do you stand on NSFW artists? Do what? you think it's still art or just a imagery to excite? Um, It depends on the talent behind it. I've seen some very... Uh, like... I've seen such good not safe for work art that it actually makes me sad that they're doing not safe for work art. And I'm like, this person is, in my opinion, wasting their talents doing this garbage. But the talent behind it is amazing. And I kind of wish they'd get hired by somebody to do like, I don't even want to say legit stuff, but better stuff. Because I feel like that talent, though, they're probably making more than me. So it's like, who am I to say, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's really kind of weird. I, I wish there was more opportunities for the really good, not safe for work artists, but you know, it's few and far between now. Have you heard of Frank Olda? It's a stop motion show about a ghost girl telling scary stories. The work behind the show was inspired by tales from the crypt and the storyteller. Write it down. I'll watch it. Dude, stop motion. Yeah. Thank you. What? Let's not forget Butch Hartman and his wife believe you can pray. What? Oh, God. Really? What is wrong with people? All right. Well, as long as that doesn't bleed into their creations, that's well, they can believe whatever they want. Uh, sometimes you're just paying the bills. Yeah, but I mean, you know, kind of slumming it sometimes, right? I don't know. I don't know. I know, not safe for not safe for work art is it is what it is. It's either really good or it's just I guess in that genre just to appeal to people who are like <laughs> boobs, you know, that kind of thing. And it's kinda of like you I gotta pick or choose your audience that way. Yeah. At Jim Mathers High Pumpkin Guy, Macab Cat. Cat. How are you doing? I'm alive. I'm alive. What's up? Thank you. Hi. Do you remember Mary Shelley Frank and Hull? My friend and I have been trying to find the DVD set of that show. I don't think I've actually ever seen that. I don't think I've seen that. I'll look it up, though. See? There we go. I got two things to look up. Can someone explain what? why? What is that? I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, most of it goes overboard nowadays. Yeah, well, that is the problem. The, the not safe for work thing, there's, there's a fine line between class and trash. And I always lean towards classy stuff because then it's like... Uh, I know you can have a sensuality without looking like garbage. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it's like the type of person you would see and you're just like, well, they probably look really trashy. Or you'd be like, wow, you know, there's 
there's grace and charm there. You know? Either way, it's all an illusion, so who cares? <laughs> oh, don't believe the hype. Bump, bump, bump. I need to find a way to get Joe Sparks into DVD Brown Skull Dip Ball. Jelly stuff and how public the fans are. Bold of you to assume an SFW is created for the guys at this point. Um, yeah, probably. But, you know, the internet is what it is for a reason because, you know, people are the way they are. Why do you think certain sites are just incredibly popular? And there's a lot of artists that are incredibly popular just because people are like, oh, you, you showed, you know, a boob, here's money, you know? So but wh whether it's a, you know, a cam girl or just not safe for work art, it's money just gets thrown in that direction for some reason. And I have no idea why, you know? I don't want to encourage that behavior. Good. Um, but anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Eh. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You can put that joke, joke spark. All right, here's the thing. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're looking for old Flash cartoons to be put on physical media, I would track down a program called Swivel. Uh, that'll transfer it to a video file, and then you can just kind of do it yourself. Just saying. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, what pumpkin guy? What? What? Praise be pumpkin guy. What did I do? Why am I getting prayers? Uh, speaking of squirrels, whoever likes squirrels on here would love what back garden. Why? Oh, the squirrels everywhere. I know it's getting ridiculous. They get ridiculous to squirrels. I'm getting coffee, dude. I have been on for flipping fifty minutes and I haven't had one thing of coffee. I was gonna get coffee. Then we got on this philosophical conversation about boob doodles. Okay, jeez, coffee. Wake up. <laughs> Martin Martinez, thank you. Oh, God, I just dropped my pen. I don't know how that's going to work now. My life is over. I literally got to go find it now. Oh, of course it rolled some... Oh, you know what? I don't need that pen. All right, just remember it's there. I don't need that pen. It can be lost under the cabinet for all I care. Lost under a desk, lost in the couch cushions. I don't need that pen. I got another one. Okay. Uh, I think I found it on CNET. CNET? What? Uh, you've already fallen asleep. What? Go to bed. What are you doing? Spine? What's going on with your spine? Anyone remember the cartoon O'Grady? No. Well, I didn't see that. The last Flash cartoon that I found on DVD that I was surprised they made it to on to DVD was Mr. Wong. I've mentioned that series numerous times, and it is definitely not a PC thing, but it had some funny moments, frankly. How does cat dog poop? I think it just gets perpetual hairballs. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I got a hairball. Stop eating. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, boo 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 coffee. Yeah. Uh, you just looked up Frank Elda and she's so cute. Ah, oh, there we go. Mm. Gotta be cute too. Let's see. Okay, you're left off at hairballs. We're getting into the sympathetic hairballs now. What's going on? Uh, get that uh, squirrels. Got that. I read that. I read that. I read that. I think I read that. There's just squirrels in the chat. No, those are chipmunks. Uh, what was that other thing that I was going to say that was important? Ah, there's something. I know it was. Uh, maybe cat dog... What? Cat dog poop gets disintegrated or dissolved in the same stomach. Th you. That's kind of gross. Go. You actually ruined other YouTubers for me. One guy who basically makes talking slideshows complained people wanted him to have a monthly schedule. Despite making enough to have a team help him. You do all this by yourself. Hey, there you go. Somehow that made me hate the other guy. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate them. They work at the speed that they do. I just bog, it boggles my mind when I hear YouTubers have teams. Like it, it confuses me because I was all right. Here's the thing, and I know I'm 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 the one I'm the odd one out, and I'm the ignorant idiot here. Okay, I'll say that first. Go. I'm a firing my laser. Pew pew. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I always it always boggles my mind when there's like a team of YouTube people on one channel. It really does. It like you know like hypothetically say, oh god, yeah, a lot of um, 
uh, hollow live, you know, VTubers and stuff like that. There was a team of people working on that. You got the lighting, you got the track motion artist, you got blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you got a tiny little studio of people working on one YouTube channel. And I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, keep it simple. It, it's so strange, but I know it's like a business and, you know, you kind of want to make things bigger so it looks better and, you know, the production values and all that other stuff. And I'm still kind of living in a time where you can just turn on stuff and be like, hey, everyone, how's it going? People are like, dude, you don't even have a, you know, D whatever XLR camera at 120 frames a second. Your lighting's trash, bro. Thank you. It's like, come on, dude. Hilariously, I wasn't going to say who the YouTuber was, but considering you kind of said it, his name is the odd ones uh out. Serendipity. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but teams. Yeah. I don't, I like, I don't know. Well, there, okay, here's where I, I think an additional person would be useful. Twitch streamers that put their stuff on YouTube or, you know, gaming people on YouTube when they have those huge long VODs. You can't expect them to continue making content and then sit back and edit all that stuff during their downtime. That That is one of those things where I'm like, all right, I get it, editors, I get it. Um, that's like the only time. Other than that, everyone should be able to do it themselves, you know? And I know it sounds stupid, but I don't know, maybe it would put a lot of creative people out of work, you know? Because like when people have all those fancy intros and stuff, I kind of just assume that they did it themselves. And I'm like, oh, no, they, they hired somebody to do that. I'm like, what? I don't know. I'm, I'm the sucker still doing all this stuff myself like an idiot. You know, I could have some cool intro, and you know, but no. I can understand having a business manager if you have millions of subs to help you navigate deals and fans, but a team to help you do videos, no. Yeah, dude, editing takes a long time. I mean, not only that, you got to scour through the video and pick out pieces. Like, if you're doing, like, three, four-hour, six-hour, 12-hour VODs for gaming, dude, you need somebody editing that. I, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, managers boggle my mind. You know, I know there's that legalities of it, you know, deals and stuff. I'm not at that point. Or I don't think I want to be either. Um, I do want a coffee sponsorship. I want a coffee that I like to sponsor me. Damn it. <laughs> You know, something good. Something that's like, oh, this is really good coffee. Drink this. And I'll be like, dude, totally. Yeah. But there uh, we go. Oh, Caterpillar, what's up? Uh, boom, 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 boom. All tells a show from Mexico. What? Really? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if you, Jim, have ever had to deal with thoughts. Of stuff. Yeah. It kind of depends on the day you get me. I'll show you girls tells people to do that just as uh, we being antagonizing to you. Just curious. Please don't take this the wrong way. No, Krill, I never take that the wrong way. Dude, um... I'll say what, creatively you have ups and downs. That's the easiest way to put it. Go. If all you do is YouTube, then you have six hours available to edit a video. Maybe. That kind of depends. My issue is he's simplicity. He has a background artist as well as a whole other team helping him. And his cartoons are basically just slideshows with audio. Barely counts as animation to me. Go in. Go animate has more frame changes than him. Hmm. I don't know. What if they're doing like, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Audio comics. Because you were thinking about doing that. Like actually just putting audio to the comic pages that you got and just kind of breaking up the panels and stuff and just doing it that way. I don't know. It might be fun for people. Not everyone's going to buy the comic. All right, whatever. Um, no, but, uh, okay, creativity and, and um, I would say not renewing your subscription to Life magazine. Um, <laughs> no, dude, I, here's the thing. I always feel like every everyone's life has ups and downs, but when you're in a down point in your life, you don't think it's going to end. So you never see the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, I don't know. It can get bleak. It can totally get bleak. I will say for us, uh, what? What's, what's been your problem for the last month? Okay, uh, I don't know. You ever have chronic pain for a good three years in a row? <laughs> that kind of wears down your mind after a while. But, you know, hey, we're still here. So, you know, because we do what we do. You know? So power through. I know it's kind of just like a very dismissive thing to say where you're just like, ah, just power through it, walk it off kind of thing. But uh, I don't know. Anytime there's like dark times, there's always, it always, it always, there's always an uptick. 
And even even during those kind of dark, dark times, you just like, you always got to keep that in mind. Because we've had so many of them that we realize there is a cycle of ups and downs. So know what you do? Hey, recognize your cycle. No, if you're, if you're depressed and you're like, I can't take this anymore, recognize the cycle. Because then you, if, when you get to that cycle, all you got to do is remember that that cycle ends. It goes in a circle, which sucks, but um, it does. It does go in a circle. So you're going to have really good times and then you have really terrible times. Sometimes that t- cycle just goes a little bit longer than you want it to. And then it's like, all right, things are getting better. Yay, coffee. You know, so I don't know. Hey, this is why you were so fat, because you would just eat your depression away. And that was a vicious cycle. He's not that fat now. Slightly fat. No, not body shaming. Just saying you should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm kidding. Good. Take a joke. Uh, mm, life is a roller coaster ride. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, when you're when you're plummeting to the depths, that's when it's the most scary and you just want to get off. You know, but you got to stay on that ride because you get a prize at the end. Uh, let's see. Motion comics do make money. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure it makes money for people who are doing, like, not say for work stuff, but, you know. Uh, oh, God, we got to start working on those, too. Oh, God, you just finished a comic, and now you got to go. Oh, God. Uh, I'll see. Just mainly put my TikTok videos on there and on my Instagram page, too, as well. Yeah, there you go. Diversify. I've only got 23 subs on my YouTube channel, if I'm lucky. Yeah. Burp, burp. I'm glad what well, I'm waking up and eating stuff is muscle memory, right? <laughs> Sometimes even that. You know we're really depressed when we don't eat. <laughs> we wake up, I don't want anything to eat. And Dawn is like, are you all right? I'm like, no, <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Keeping a balance can be very important, uh, serious topics, and also good fun topics too as well. Yeah, there you go. Got to have fun. You got to have fun. Oh, um... No, dude, if you're having a really bad time, I would say take a break from social media. That's just negativity 24-7. Go. I attempted self-fascination mm. at 8. 21 years later, I mm. still have those thoughts. Yeah. After that length of time, no matter how happy mm-hmm. I am, and I am happy with my life mostly, mm. those thoughts don't go away. Hey, yeah, ever, it seems. See, this is why, um, what was that quote that you had the, the Lucretia Darkmore character say? Darkness never leaves you, make friends with it. It's true. It really is. That's that's one of those things that I totally 100% agree with it. If you have dark thoughts and dark morbidity kind of things, um, it's part. It's up there. You know, just, you know, make friends with it. You know, swim in the dark waters. Don't drown in them. There you go. Use it to your advantage. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of work, but it's worth the effort you put in. It's like exercise, which we don't do, but we should. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Uh, and thank you, by the way. Mm. I really don't know anyone who seems to be getting a lot of really bad times over here where I live. Mind you, I went out today. It was okay, I suppose. All right. Okay. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. I was depressed and poor for a while and went from being around 235 pounds to 175 within a few months. Yeah, it all happened. When you can't buy food. Yeah. And depressed. Revelry in the dock. Yeah. No, not really. More about the way people are behaving at the moment, really. Oh, well. Eh. Well. People are weird. I can say, if you find people weird and they make you depressed, stay away from them. <laughs> what? I'm, you think I'm joking? Who wants the a- extra stress? You don't want extra stress in your life. No! That's why I stay off social media. I glance at it every once in a while. Okay, everything's still in turmoil. Okay, and basketball. Okay. <laughs> I always find that weird on Twitter, especially. I'll look at the trending stuff. It's all this serious stuff underneath whatever sport is popular at the time. So it'll be like basketball. Okay, there's a third world war. Why is basketball trending at number one? It kind of shows the mentality, you know? <laughs> it's just so weird. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Mm, like the line in Return of the King in Mordor. Uh, Sam sees a star in the sky and is struck as by its beauty. Sees that the shadow is only passing thing, and light and goodness is beyond reach. There you go. It's there. You just gotta hope. Um, I got a lot of those sad, harmful thoughts too. But I think I love to swim. So when you dip your toes in the water, don't think about drowning. Enjoy swimming. Makes sense. There you go. That's the whole thing. I don't know. I always looked at depression like this uh, very dark lake that you can either drown in or swim. You know? And even if you can't swim, you can still float on your back. 
you know you may just have to zone out for a while until you hit shore but as long as you can avoid the riptides you're all right the same i think that's good advice jeez that's better advice than i would ever get from a psychologist well here's what you do here's some prescriptions and take this and that and uh if you ever think about bowling no i don't think about bowling well maybe you should bowl why would i bowl and well bowling could help with your depression shut up <laughs> and your anger issues shut up <laughs> Oh, that was weird. Speaking of the chronic pain and slash depression, yo, 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 we went to the doctor and they're like, all right, here's the thing. We're going to do a couple of scans, blah, 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 right? They're like, okay, here's the thing. If your thing is a chronic thing, here's what we could do. We could give you painkillers, but we're probably not going to do that. They wanted to give you antidepressants to basically change your perspective of pain. What? How is that a thing? They're like, no, seriously, it actually works because it changed your mindset. I'm like, I can change my mindset. And of course, they give you that sideways look. You sure you don't want drugs? I'm like, no, I don't know. Then you got to explain that you're an artist and the ups and downs are part of life and creativity. And he's like, then there's that little look of pity. Oh, oh, you're an artist. Okay. Um, well, you probably couldn't afford prescriptions anyway, so I guess never mind. Uh, we'll just run that test out. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, apparently that's a thing. I had no idea, but he says it's apparently it's very effective. So I guess if you don't want to get hooked on painkillers for pain, then antidepressants help? Question mark? He also said, uh, what was that thing with the needles in your stomach? Or your face? Whatever they do? Acupuncture. There you go. They said that. They said acupuncture, maybe. Well, yeah, there was that little caveat of maybe. Maybe you can get acupuncture. And don't need pills to make myself numb. <laughs> Just give me pink voice a wall. It helped with my kidney stone agony. There you go. I, I take painkillers for that, frankly. <laughs> oh, God. I would definitely want to be numb for that. Oh, you're an artist. This is going to be the payment plan then. Yeah. Dude, I save my money for rainy days like this, man. Uh, I think because both of anti-inflammatory properties. Really? I didn't know uh, antidepressant had anti-inflammatory properties. I thought it was just mind mind happies or something. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Painkillers didn't help. Ugh. Really? Wow. Go. In 2020, with no work coming from my company, I was getting depressed, then really angry, and then depressed heavily. It was a big wheel of misery. Yeah. Dude, it goes, it goes in cycles. You just got to hold on. Hold on to that spinning Daddy, wheel. Go. I refuse prescription pain meds. Mm. I have an addictive personality ah. and don't trust myself. There you go. Doctors think I'm overreacting. But I'm like, no, I'm not. I know myself better than you, <laughs> pill pusher. <laughs> yeah, right? <clears throat> oh, God. Dopamine. oh, yeah. That's a thing, right? That goes in your, that's in your brain. Hmm. How come we can't just unlock that when we need to? I need a little button to press and be like, you know, pink. Now you probably get addicted to that, right? Do people can get addicted to their own dopamine, right? Yeah, right? That's weird. Isn't the mind weird? But good on you for knowing yourself. There you go. I know. I just, here's the thing. I, I, I don't like taking too much medicine because then I feel like, one, it dulls, dulls the edge, as it were. And, uh, hey, if something's hurting, I want to know what's hurting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing uh, jumping jacks when my, you know, spine is compressed to the point of near paralysis you know what i'm saying it's ridiculous the dopamine button is sugar sugar exercise helps working out six days a week for an hour keeps the demons at bay i would love to do boxing i feel like punching things would make me happy i'm just saying but then it'd be like, you know, who's this dude just it's wailing away at this boxing thing some people will feed the dopamine by vices Vices. But those things with the little screws are just bad habits. Oh, bad habits. All right. Like, it's kind of weird to do that with vices. But anyway. No, no, no. You can be addicted to anything. You name it, you can. Um, I want to name something just really weird that you can. There's no way you're going to be. I'm, I'm going to say dog poop. I don't think anyone is addicted to dog poop. Go. I feel the same with boxing. Boxing, yeah. I know. It's like, because, hey, you can just paint a face on whatever you're punching of somebody you dislike. Oh, that must just be so viscerally liberating. That'd be cool. Pink flamingo begs to disagree. What? 
Just buy one of those small punching bag things to punch in the corner. No me gusta esto, ah. I don't take much medicine cause I have gotten addicted to it once. Ooh. Messed up my foot and had to have oxycodone and got so addicted to oh, it by two six months worth in under two months. Wow. Cut myself off after that. Yeah, dude, that's not good. That, that's when they were giving that stuff out like candy back in the day. Because there are people like, here, take this, take this, take this. You need more? No problem. And before you know it, everyone's like, dude, I need some. No, sorry, we can't. Apparently, we've been giving you too much. Uh, are you going to wean me off of this? No. So I'm just going to be in severe pain and have withdrawals. Yep, yeah, sure. Isn't modern medicine weird? It's really good or just really messed up, <laughs> you know? Oh, God. Mm. They still do. I don't know. Not the doctors I go to. L literally, they, they told me to take, like, an aspirin. Like, oh, well, you know, you could take three aspirin instead of two. Really, Doc? Well, it's either that or the antidepressants. What? Like, come on, dude. If this is a muscle thing, give me a break. Yeah, make sure you eat a meal. I need more coffee. Cough the phlegm. Yeah. What is happening here? I feel like there's Shisha. a disconnect. Where is that? If people have human feces, then you can get addicted to dog poop. Who would who would do that? You know, usually any any time. Uh, no, here here's the thing. Uh, if you've ever used a public bathroom, you want to spend as little time in there as possible. So who's who's uh, who's who's huffing that? You know, I feel like that's you're just basically inhaling methane. Go. Painkillers hurt me for some reason. Plus, it never alleviates my pain. And antipsychotic hmm. and antidepressants make me feel like I'm a robot being reprogrammed, increasing right. myself assassination <laughs> Dude, tendencies. that's what that's what I'm saying, man. Everyone that I've met on those things, they they tend to feel like they get very numb, and it's like you could slap them in the face and it just wouldn't phase them. And that that's an odd odd way to live, you know? Because I would rather feel pain, sadness, sorrow than feel nothing, you know? Because at least it's an emotion. And there's always an art that you can gravitate to that would actually, I'm not going to say enhance it, but help you through it. Like, dude, if you're sad, if you're really sad and depressed and you listen to a really sad song, it somehow makes you feel a little bit better. It really does. You know, it's like something out there gets you, you know, at least that's what I do. Oh, dude, you should see my playlist, man. Everything is like, you know, super angry or, oh, the world is terrible and I'm going to cry in my own face. You know, that kind of thing. Mm, I don't take any type of painkiller. Yeah, the only thing, I, I, I took vitamin D the other day for the first time because we don't get out a lot. Vitamin D, yeah. So I don't know, I got to watch myself. Before you know it, I'm going to get addicted to vitamins. I'm sure somebody, got, what, like Flintstones? Those aren't candy, idiot. I know my jokes are terrible. Ah, weird. Mm. Dun, dun. I prefer only to take medicine for unbearable pain. Yeah, I'm pretty much an unbearable pain type threshold person. Like when 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 my eyes start blurring, that's when I'm like, yeah, give me something, please. Like like I can't see you. I cannot see you because I'm in so much pain. Mm. Long time since I've seen the stream. What's up, Virex? How's it going? Go. Nice, you're on glad. Yeah, nice, you're on glad. Nice, thank you, Spider. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing quite like the Smiths when you're sad. Yeah, that and Morrissey, you just sit there and be like, ha ha ha, the world is terrible, but I am not because I'm Morrissey. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, that guy. Uh, let's see. Mm. Hey, man, you got any of those Flintstone so vitamins? I need my fix. Ooh. Go. I hear you on the music. My my playlist is an amalgamation between country, country, rap, R and B, rock slash alternative. But is it all depressing and sad? Uh, I gotta say, dude, nothing gets me out of a funk more than I would say certain aggressive music because it's always it's it's always more productive to be angry than sad. So usually, if you can kind of use music as a gateway to kind of get yourself out of a mood. It's like, I'll go from really sad songs up to like Nine Inch Nails. And before you know it, I'm like listening to Angel Spit saying, yeah, screw the man. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> What's up? Some of it, yeah. Some of it, yeah. Nice. There you go. It helps, though. You know? mm. You're just me. Go. Your eyes are blurring. Take eight hours of sleep and call me in the morning. All right. No, you're not in pain. You're just sleep deprived. Go. 
storm coming, but I may get one to three or five to eight inches. They have got worse with technology. Yeah, right. Is that, you know, for all the advances we make in technology, it never seems to help with the weather. Yeah, we're expected one to seven is eight, 12, maybe 13 feet of snow. Oh, it was bright and sunny and 60 degrees that day. Sorry. It's just, you know, it's emerging technology. Like, what is going on in the weather rooms? My God. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ah, can you give me a foamy squirrel impression? Um, let's see. What's my foamy and squirrel impression? Um, I hate everything. People are terrible because they're dumb. I, I don't know. What does he do? Like, what's his thing? Hates people, right? I don't know. Do I have an acorn I can throw at somebody? Can I hit you in the head with an acorn? No? Okay. Um, I don't know. Not very good at impressions. I could do pillsy, like, uh, oh, geez, uh, this is green because I urinated toxic waste or whatever he says. I feel like pillsy would be more my speed. I don't know. Um, let's see, Screeching Weasels albums. Oh my what god. People only job where it's okay to constantly wrong. No, it's not constantly wrong, good. No. <laughs> my mindset is when last put on antipsychotics, it was just being put on them that puts me in a mood. Mm. Just being told I need them makes it feel like a malfunction of a human. Eh. And it would be better to die oh, as me god, than no. under those. That's why I don't take them anymore. Good for Being you. a weather reporter is the only job in the world that you can always be wrong and never get fired. Sneaky well, politicians, human. too. Go. Working in the aviation industry, you have to trust what the stations say, but you need to know that it can change between every hour to minute. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Same thing with boats. If you're a boater person, what do they call them? Captains? Yar. Whatever. Sea weather. Um, no, but speaking of uh, screeching weasels, that reminded me of the Screaming Trees, and the lead singer of the Screaming Trees passed away recently. What's his name? Mark Lanigan? Or Lagan? Mark Garan Lagan? Yeah, he's dead. I, dude, he was like 50 or something like that. How did he die? What? Well, he had a drug thing, right? Yeah, that could have been it. But dude, that guy, he was awesome. Dude, Screaming Trees? Ah. Oh. What? Nearly Lost You. If nobody knows anything about a Screaming Trees, look up the song Nearly Lost You. It's it's a really old song, but it's excellent. You had a good voice, too. Very distinctive for that hour. Um, but there you go. Well, yeah, another dead grunge legend. Um, sorry about the very bad spelling. I can't spell very well. Hey, all those were good. Uh, so I talked to, to a microphone and it spells the words out for me, mostly these stories. So I apologize in advance for the bad spelling. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's like one of storylines in Final Fantasy 14. In Endwalker, there is a flower that reacts to emotion. Nope. You use it to show another NPC that he is not alone in his suffering, that there are others out there that can understand that. That pain. See, if I had plants like that, they'd all be dead. They'd probably be like, I can't live with this person. He's either sad or angry. <laughs> Oh my god. Why are all our plants wilting away into dust? I don't know. I'm having a bad day. It's like every time I point out a mood ring, it just turns black. <laughs> Is that right? Go. The final straw was I was angry at my brother for making me homeless in a new state oh. with little friends to help. And one person thought I was only angry because I missed a dose. No. Oh. After that conversation and eventually meeting my. Meeting my wife put me in a better place. Uh, very few people should be on meds that change you that much. Yeah, exactly. I always feel like, and this is a personal thing. I know there is a certain realm of individual that kind of need it, but I always feel like the human mind can do a lot of stuff. So I, I always work on mind first and see what that can overcome. And then if it needs assistance, yeah, but um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Mind powers. I want to write a book called Mind Powers. Mind Powers by Pumpkin Guy. How can you overcome your own brain with brain? No, that doesn't work. How can you can overcome your dumb brain with a smarter one? No, that sounds like you're going to try to steal a brain and transplant it into your head. But then you wouldn't be you. And how are you going to do that by yourself? Um, I don't know. Uh, but there you go. I'm going to write that book. I swear. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Sad plus angry equals sangria. Sangria. There you go. <laughs> 
Uh, mind you, I had my three vaccinations last year, 2020, uh, December. They're bringing out a fourth, I think, and I shall take when it comes out there. Yeah, it'll happen. They always bring, I think everyone's going to be getting boosters for the rest of their lives at this point. Thanks, humanity. Reanimators. Weren't they supposed to make another reanimator movie? I'm angry that that doesn't exist yet. Please do it while Jeffrey Combs is alive. My God. Over-reliance on medications. It, it does seem to be. It's very crutchy-like, you know? Mythbusters proved that plants like metal music and grew stronger from the control of, uh, or easy listening plants. Yeah, I saw that one. That was pretty good. Grow! I wonder if I could... All right, yeah, here's the thing. If I use metal music and my avocado plant's going to be very angry. Angry avocados. Dum, dum, avocados. Healthy for you, even though they use a lot of water. Dun, dun, dun. You know. They you they suck up so much water. I feel like they're constantly dehydrated. Uh, dun, dun, dun. No reanimator screwed me up for months. What? That was an excellent film. So was the second one and the third one. They should have made a fourth one. New band name. Have Jermaine go into Fire Records and ask for Lothar and the Hamp. That's not gonna happen. Dude, Four Eye Records guy is basically like a musical foamy. He just complains about music. And then everyone's like, why are you complaining about that? For example, why would you hate on Taylor Swift? They're so awesome. And then hypothetically, the Four Eye Records guy would be like, well, there's your first example of what's wrong with music. You know, and then, you know, just a hypothetical, of course. Um, you know, and then people will complain, blah, 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 because, you know, can't have opinions. Um, let's see. Ten times the amount of tomatoes used. Ten times! Yeah, but they're ten times healthier than tomatoes. Uh, better safe than sorry. Uh, uh, did you get your... Three? Yeah, I got everything. I got boosted so much that it's like... I don't know. I don't even need a chair at Red Lobster anymore. That's how many boosteds I got. Uh, let's see. One of the hottest peppers in the world is what... what uh, is that weight partly because they... What? Insult... And what's... It grows? What? They insult it. Who insults a pepper while it grows to make it more bitter? Like, that's that's Jesus. hurtful. Go. Avocado plants wake you saying, feed me, feed them. You have to eat human body. Yeah, can I feed them human food? Well, I read this article where a singer claims she only went into metal too and I coot to appropriate white cis male music. Eh. And I've never wanted to slap someone harder. Music shouldn't be a gimmick even with talent behind it. <laughs> Yeah, well, welcome to the world of music, because uh, it's kind of always been that way, and I think it always will be, you know? It's just going to get worse. Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares about music. People caring about music stopped in the late 90s, all right? The only one that cares about music right now is Jack White, I think, at this point. Um, other than that, people are just have been phoning it in for decades. It's embarrassing, you know? Uh, Asp, what's up? Uh... I can't tell her swear she just sings the same song on every album, just changes the name. A lot of people seem to like it. You know, I mean, there's something to be said about appealing to the masses. In other news, have you realized the masses are exceedingly stupid, probably dumber than they have ever been in the last hundred years? Just letting you know. Um, let the avocados hit the floor. The avocados, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Tongue, doesn't. Uh, not much. All right, well, that's good. Meanwhile, as they say, bananas over here meant to be yellow recently green, so green looks like they are selling bunches of cucumbers. We well, gotta let them ripen. Huh? I got a bunch of those comics and never through knew it was a movie. What? Really? Hmm. That's why I still listen to Luthor. Luthor. There's a good song for every type of mood. Go. All entertainment has gone downhill. It really has. You know, I thought it was meant there's a couple of decent things out there, but um, it's few and far between, frankly. It's true. It's true. I don't find uh, a lot of joy in a lot of newer stuff, you know? And I feel really bad for people who are into, like, rap because it is atrocious out there. And that's always been, like, one of those periphery things for me, genres. Yeah. We haven't gotten stupid here. We just allowed the stupid one talk and be louder. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's unfortunately, uh, it's a numbers game at that point. If people are predominantly stupid and yet they clutter up everything, then what happens to the smart people? There's so few of them left. You know what I'm saying? 
and their voices are squashed by everyone who's like, duh, TikTok. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so there we go. Mm. Dude, it's 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 a pretty it's a pretty dicey gene pool out there right now. Mm. These days entertainment is just mindless. Um yeah. I mean there's you really got to dig. Unfortunately, it's like I said, there's just so much dumb stuff out there that you really got to dig for the good stuff. You really Insanity have to dig. You got to make an effort. Thinking. Go. 63 moons. 63 moons. Thank you, Crazy K. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, I've always been atrocious. That's not new. Atrocious. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, the monkeys existed because Sears and Kellogg's wanted to own a band and had friends in Columbia who wanted to make a TV show as a gimmick. Yeah, there you go. But even musicians were different back then. There was more talent behind even shill musicians, you know? Like, now it's just literally blue. All right, I'm kind of singing the playback on auto tune, and I'm a musician apparently. Um, let's see. Uh, the majority of vocals tend to be done, but doesn't represent the whole. Um, yeah, I think that's why a lot of people lean towards instrumentals now, just because the, the lyrical content is just so terrible. People are like, "Yo, can I just get this without words?" Thanks. Seriously, I go out of my way to look for instrumentals at this point because I've heard so much music that somebody doing a song about love is like, okay, I've heard this a million times before and in better iterations. You know, you're not bringing anything new to the table because you broke up with your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, pack it up and, you know, throw out those letters, which are now text. And, oh, I deleted my text because my baby left. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to block you, bro. I do like Confetti, though. That is a band called Confetti. They have some decent songs. But they're fun and uppity. I'm a ghost. That song. It's good. You never see me down, down. Mm. It's a good song. Look it up. Uh, need new classical gas. Dude, you're never getting a... You're never getting a new classical gas. Dude, that is amazing. There's a classical version done by Vanessa May. It's okay. Just if you care. This, it's a, that is such a difficult song to cover and do it well. Hmm. Spanish guitar instruments are neat. Yeah. Difficult to play. Well, at least well. Uh, mm -mm. Instrumentals of songs are often better. I know now they were, but back, back then, like if you listen to an instrumental of Nirvana, you'd be like, this is boring. It was the words that made it just, even though the words were bombastic, at, at certain points, uh, it was the voice that was that extra instrument that lent, you know, uh, a flair to, I don't know, some in instrumental. Dude, come on. Teen Spirit is not a very complex song. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. You know? And that riff was done, like, numerous times prior to that. It's just like everyone forgot it existed, and then it was like, oh, it's a thing. I'd say that drum intro really helped it, though. Uh... And yes, Keep I like passing. Nirvana. God. I'm still happy with Shinedown, but you're right. I found a version of Takata and Fugue in D minor done almost entirely on violin. So good. If I, I was a supervillain, that would be my theme song. Supervillain. See, it's good that you think about that, though. Hey, you know, if I'm a supervillain, I'm going to need myself a theme song. This is what I'm going with. You know, you got to have that in your back pocket just in case it happens. <laughs> You know, we could just get out of a cab one day and be like, all right, now this is the day I'm a supervillain. You know, just kind of break out that Walkman, hook it up to a speaker. and just <laughs> Nobody uses Walkmans. I just, I'm just thinking in retro terms. Oh, God. Orion from Metallica is amazing. Probably my favorite song. Masters of Puppets. They, they were good. Dude, Masters of Puppets, that was like, that was a good, good era for uh, Metallica. You know? And then it all slowly fell apart when Cliff Burton left. Well, he didn't leave so much as he left the earth. Uh, also, Liz Farr, bleep, and Run Song. Hmm. Metallica, what? Went mainstream. No, Metall Metallica went sideways as soon as they hooked up with their producer, Bob Rock, um, which he did, I think he did the Black Album, um, and then he did Load, Reload, and they just worked with him ever since, and it's like, oh, my God, please stop. Um, I haven't used Sony Watchmen TVs. Nice. There you go. Well, the same thing happened with Pearl Jam. He got, uh, they got hooked up with Brendan O'Brien, the producer, um, and Incubus. Brendan O'Brien, please stop making, pr producing anything. Please. Please. God. 
No, he he was like the for my ears, he is like the, the the final nail in the coffin of a band that used to be great. He got dude, dude got a hold of Pearl Jam, they fell apart. Okay, they got a hold of Incubus, garbage. You know, there are countless bands. You look at Brendan O'Brien, and, and and in my opinion, for my ears, I feel like he's one of the worst people to have produce an album. I don't know what it is. And to the day I die, I I will just, you know what? I'm gonna make a chart. I'm going to make a chart of everything that Brendan O'Brien has touched and why it went terrible. You know? And I'm going to be like, look at what you did, Brendan. Look at what you did. You know? Rick Rubin, on the other hand, is hit or miss. You know, Very good with Johnny Cash, which I didn't expect. Excellent with the Chili Peppers. Um, also did excellent work with Be- Beastie Boys. But there's been other things he touched where I'm like, oh, my God, what'd you do? You know? And I'm just I'm like, why? God, I really want to pull up a wiki page and just see what Brendan O'Brien did. Oh, my God. Didn't he also ruin Stone Temple Pilots? Yeah. O'Brien, didn't he work on Gem Movie? I don't know. Like, I stopped. Like, literally, after he, he started ruining bands, I if I see his name on something, I will not buy it. You know? Same thing with Bob Rock. I just, I will not. And Bob Rock actually has very good production sound, but just what comes out of it is terrible. So there's a difference between sound and the structure of the music for me. Um, kind of like Microsoft, Bethesda, or Disney get a hold of things and ruin it. Pretty much. Yeah, Brendan O'Brien was the Disney of producers back then. Uh, but not even because it was like the production values weren't good. Everything started to sound raw and weird. Like, hey, it's like we're doing a live recording. No, that that's what bootlegs are for, okay? <laughs> like, come on. Uh, let's see. A lot of musical tastes were shaped by video games, especially Dance Dance Revolution. Eh. Oh. Mm. Wait, Incubus, is that why I haven't heard anything new? Incubus in a long... No, they keep putting out albums. I think they put out an album recently, but, uh, they, you know, Brendan O'Brien got a hold of them after... I think it was Morning View, the album after that. Go. I never really listened to new music. I grew up listening to the music my dad liked a lot of 70s and 80s arena rock. Even now, the Tim Moore into country, I can't listen to the new stuff. Yeah. I mean, new stuff, uh, God, I'm trying to think of... <sighs> All right, bands that I can deal with currently. Um, I mentioned Confetti. Uh, Together Pangea is pretty good. Um, what was the other one that's relatively new? Oh, God, what's their band? God, what is it? Cage the Elephant. Um, they're pretty good. There was another one. Let's see. I got something like right here. You're going to have to wait now. Starting to talk about music. Look what you did. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see. We got a Green Day thing. What is it? This is from the olden times. Go. As the righteous sit in their camp, a familiar but known song to them fills the air. As the violence pause before the tempo increases in the music, I descend for the madness rivaling Dionysus. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> a little esoteric. Um, Green Day. Now, these are things that I picked up relatively recently. No, they did uh, BBC sessions from like ye olden times. So the stuff from like the 90s in here when people are like, oh, cool. This one, dude, Megadeth Unplugged. They are actually really good Unplugged. You never would have thought it, right? Megadeth Unplugged just makes no sense. Yeah, but it's Megadeth, not Metallica. Okay, they didn't need a symphony, a symphony orchestra. Um, oh, there you go. Amy Mann. You want to know why I like Amy Mann? She is depressing as bleep. She is just so sad. Apparently she did a soundtrack to a movie. So there you go. I know that's a thing. All right, what else we got? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Boom. Also another, oh, good job, green screen. This is a, like an acoustic live thing that does, they go through their songs, but they're acoustic I do like acoustic music. I really do. It's weird. People would be like, dude, you must like metal and goth and all that. Well, we do, but this as well. I like this. It's very good. They're actually decent live. Uh, what else we got? Got something here. No, that doesn't count. Uh, garbage. No. Danny Elfman. No, just because I got to give him a shout out. Boom. I've been listening to music from the 50s era since I got into the Fallout games. 
Bah. Not to mention my grandma listens to them while she cooks. That must be fun, though. Because in your head, you have, like, images of fallout while they're cooking. But, you know, grandma's probably got, like, completely different memories. And Naked Ray Gun. I like Naked Ray Gun. And they deserve a shout-out because they're one of the greatest punk bands from Chicago ever. I don't like Chicago's pizza, but I like their punk, okay? I'm a New Yorker, all right? All right, get these out of here. Come on. Da -da -da -da. Huh. Compact discs. Yes, I put them in little plastics to keep them protected, all right? Because I'm a weirdo. <sighs> Amy Man did a soundtrack to Magnolia. Like, yes, it's good. Did you know she was in Bad Till Tuesday? Yes, I have all those as well. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like Till Tuesday as much as uh, Amy Man stuff. And I like Amy Man later in her career when she did like Bleep Smilers. Um, oh God, what's the other one? Ah, oh, some lost something. That was really good. And the other depressing one, she also did a side project called The Both, which is actually a really good side project as well. So, yeah, I keep up. Uh, just curious, have you ever played any games while streaming on Twitch? Ye in ye olden times. And we're going to try to do that again, but we got to catch up on work after we catch up on medical stuff and after we catch up on other things. Go. Seriously, the look up Takata by David Garrett. His work on Takata is especially impressive as it's in song designed for piano, but you would swear it's a violin piece with how well he plays it. Nice. I miss good violinists. Nigel Kennedy. <laughs> Very good. What do you want from me? Thank you. Write it down. Um, I want to say I love all your stuff. I've been following the site for a long time. Love for me and the entire crew. It's the only crew, I guess, the other squirrels. Uh, squirrels going on was the first thing I ever found. Nice! Carixa, thank you. I appreciate putting up with the squirrels for so long. Hmm. Thank you. Hi. Some bands are utter trash live. Marilyn Manson comes to mind. Yeah, worse than that was Sisters of Mercy. I've said this before, but I literally walked out of their concert. Go. I know I'm wrong for this, but I like album art that they create and judge them by keeping that in mind. Mm. Mm. Alexandria poem, Night of Horrors, for knowledge seekers. Trying to save scrolls, essential to change. As the fire consumes, and sorrow fills the sands. Forever changing history. I'll take your word for that. Do you like jazz music? I like old jazz. I'm talking about like, you know, Herbie Hancock, kind of ye olden times, Thelonious Monk, that kind of stuff. New, new jazz is kind of like, you know, they're trying, but like a lot of the really good jazz has already been done. You know what I'm saying? So it's like metal. A lot of good metal's already been done. You should check out Soundtrack to Brutal Legend. I am aware of it. Um... Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's see. I know I missed chat when I was doing something. Uh, let's see. I missed the days Natalie Merchant was in 10,000 Maniacs. Yeah, you know what a breaking point of 10,000 Maniacs was? MTV's unplugged. That was like, oh, wow, 10,000. Okay, let's break. Oh, Natalie Merchant. Oh, I'm going to do a solo career because I'm so important now. And she just says, thank you over and over again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to deal with that song for like a decade. I said, please shred that. Uh, anyway. Mm. New jazz, like new metal. Robert Smith's ain't too great live, apparently. Um, hit or miss. Musicians, depending on the night you get them, they could be either really good or terrible. Yeah. Mm, there are covers of Takata that use synthesizer for a distinct sound. There's a lot of covers of everything because nobody can do anything original anymore. <laughs> Why would I make myself a new song when I could just cover all these great songs? People will know you're the person that did that one great song that somebody else did. Yes, I shall stand on the shoulders of giants and bask in the glory of former legends. That's the way I feel like mu music is right now. Hey, I covered that. Oh, good. Um, MTV, that's a thing. It used to be. MTV used to be. Dude, I used to love their MTV Unplugs. That was like one of Pearl Jam's best performances when they did an MTV Unplugged. It was insane. Even Nirvana kind of brought it. Yeah. Stone Temple Pilots, also good. Alice in Chains, the guy was kind of falling asleep. Oasis, of course, Liam decided to be a beep. And no, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not, uh, I'm going to let my brother do it. Yeah. See how that worked out. 
Dun, dun, dun. Go. No. Nope. What was that that popped off of screen then? Oh, that was an alert. Never mind. Uh, the only song I can think of right now is We Didn't Start the Fire. Well, you could have. You don't know. Favorite female rock band? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I just... All female or just female fronted? Because there's a lot. And depends. What genre are we talking about? I used to love the distillers. Oh, my God. Brody Dale's, like, guttural howl is amazing. You want a good example of that? Uh, the song Girls Talk by Garbage. Brody Dale does backup on that. Amazing. At least for my ears. People are going to be like, wow, this is a raspy voice, but it's amazing. What was the other band that sounds like uh, Distillers but aren't Distillers? Uh, Interrupters. Yeah. That's another band. So if you like the Distillers, and since they're not really doing anything, though supposedly they're working on a new album, listen to the Interrupters. They're a little bit more... A little bit more ska-ish, if that makes any sense. Girl Talk. Love that song. Here you go. Female Fronted. Uh, Kitty in the Medi me me Metal Realm. They're actually doing a concert relatively soon. Uh, worst example of that Christian music. Hey, there's a Christian ska band that's okay. I forget their name, though. Uh, 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 apparently when my wife uh, saw him and what, sat in a chair and even started to sweat. <laughs> Regular TV's almost dead at this point. Yeah, MTV used to only do videos. Yeah, I know. Uh, I really hate new operas, especially anything Philip... Philip Glass has got to be dead by now. Well, the guy's been living off of Kiwana Scotsy for the last... 30 years. Oh, God. No, I, I would dare him to use more than two keys in a, in a symphony. It's like Philip Glass in a nutshell. Hold on, hold on. Boom. Nin, 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 nin. All right, he's got three keys. Good job, Phil. Um, let's see. Oh, I will totally. It, it, I come on, dude. It's a yeah. I like some of the stuff, but please, <laughs> come on. Favorite garbage song? Lover's Box. Such a good song to me. I like Sleep. It's a B side, but it's very just. It's very just ominous. I love it. Uh, silly symphony comes to mind. Mm, the stuff will make you stabby after I was a retail work. Yeah. Mm, I really wish Hope wasn't in preschool. She's missing out. Ah, it's fine. That's what the VODs are for. Mm. With him, Temptation, Night Witch. Night Wish. Um, both good. I'm trying to think. I still like Anita Franco. I mean, she's like one of those, I'm doing this bleep my way, you know? I did. I have like the utmost respect for Anita Franco because she's just like self-made. Go. Literally weird Al. Weird Al. Nin, 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 nin. <laughs> Thank you. Um. God, there's so many more. Jeez. God. I. 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 Hey. I. I gotta. I gotta break out my collection one day. I really do. I've said this numerous times. I gotta just break out the records and the compact discs, and just be like, yo, I got this, 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 this. And people are going to just be like, my God, open up a record store. I would, but nobody goes to record stores anymore. Mm. Scary Kitty. Nobody knows who The Missing is anymore. They're basically not a band. I don't even know if the lead singer does anything anymore. I wonder how classic music would sound in 8-bit chiptune. Check Spotify. Just look 8-bit eight, eight classical. It'll be there. Mm. Make you laugh. Nice. Thank you. Mm -mm. Do -do 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 -do. You know what I need? What about the band Hole? Um, <sighs> is, that's one of those instances where you got to separate the uh, musician from the music because uh, Courtney Love, mm, not my cup of tea. Uh, but Hole was pretty good because uh, allegedly a lot of the albums were written by other people, um, and the better albums by because early early hole was kind of atrocious, but things miraculously got better once uh, she kind of hooked up with Kurt Cobain, and then after the fact that other album was kind of co-written by Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. So, you know, despite all his rage, he still likes to get paid. Apparently, um, I'm gonna go get something to drink. Coffee, go.
I'm going to say I'm really pacing myself well with this coffee. Good for me. Shut up. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, some bands, you got to do that. Yeah. I don't think you could separate Rage Against the Machine from the uh, musicians because they're so intertwined. You know what I'm saying? Death Wish Coffee. There you go. Uh, bum, 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 bum. These days, America's theme song should be the Weird Al song, Dare to be Stupid. Dare to be Stupid. It's a good song. Uh, 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 uh. This is where we find out pumpkin guys using a collection is what? Load bearing wall. No! Can you imagine? Open a record store in Japan. They still buy physical media. I know, and it's amazing to me. I like if I had to move to a place, it would be Japan merely because record stores still exist there. I love music. I love buying music. And when God, it bothers me so much, like that, it's not a thing in the States much anymore. Now, the last holdout now was vinyl. And I think people only buy vinyl to say that they bought vinyl. And I'll, I don't know if they really have that passion for it where they're like, oh, my God, this is the best, you know, that kind of thing. I think they just, well, well, I bought this because it's a blah, 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 limited edition, blah, 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 and it's going to only accrue in value. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. The Antofu in the comics. No. It was in that reboot comic, but that was about it. The song is in the Transformers movie. Uh, can't have MSI without Jimmy. I don't even know what's going on with Jimmy. Jimmy got some accusations thrown at him, but I haven't heard anything since. At least Walmart is still sell record players. Yeah, well, that's because they're like retro key kitsch now. So it's a big fixer upper deal. I love it. I'm still shocked. My mall has a Sam Goody store. How is that even possible? I thought Sam Goody's closed down completely. Have you been there recently? I mean, what? I know FYE is still around in certain areas, barely, but Sam Goody? Wow. What I've done, Lincoln Park. Yeah, but that's what everybody knows from them. That's like the song. Yeah, that song. It's a good song, but it's like one of those ones that got played out for me. So I'm like, oh, my God. Didn't it come out like 20 years ago, too? It's like, wow, 2002? Yeah, oh, God, we're getting old, chat. Chat, we're getting old. Here my day. Also, if Lucretia Darkmar were to be in the cartoons, what voice would Dawn have to use or something? I think I would have to... I don't know if she could do a voice that dark. Go. Do you have a favorite brand of record player? Yeah, good ones. I mean, quite literally. The one I have now is kind of trash. Um, it's like an Ion one, just so I can kind of, like, rip music into a computer. Um, but, God, I'd have to do some research, because I the last decent record player I had was probably from, like... Wow, I don't even know. What, like 19, 1998 was like the last decent record player I had, which got janked in a move. So, yeah. And then we got the cheapy one because it was like there. Um, there you go. I have every album by them and I miss Chester. Hey, do you have the Stone T Temple Pilots thing with Chester Bennington on it? Go. Are you sure you're not think of the song Faint or Crawling? Those are the songs I think of when I think of Linkin Park. No, those aren't the songs I'm thinking of. But speaking of the band, there's a band called The Faint. I love that band. The Dance Macabre is awesome. That is an awesome album. Like, it was it was a really good band for a while. They, they're still around, I think, but I, they haven't come out with anything relatively recently. Um, I would look them up. Very excellent band, The Faint. They have a retro -y kind of electronic sound, but they kind of have a tinge of punk to them as well. I think Dodd could if she channels her darker open self. No, we're talking about like octave down. We're just like, you know, we're hypothetically Jermaine would just be like, oh, man, stop bothering me. You know, Lucretia would be like, what are you bothering me for? Kind of like a really just dark, gritty kind of thing. I almost want to say like a, a, a Lady Sylvanas kind of thing where there's just this sly smokiness to it where it's just like oof. Just, her voice alone is intimidating and you're like wow can i hire that person oh my god maybe i'll do that i don't know do they need a job dude the, the, the person who does the voice acting for lady sylvanas in warcraft oh that'd be perfect oh come on how much do they cost how much do voice actors cost now because we've been doing everything in-house 
Maybe I could have Kurt Cobain's house. Why? You're going to have to scrub that down. I'm just letting you know. So a Catwoman voice, Eartha Kitt style? Mm, no, I'd probably be, dude, Lady Sylvanas. That would probably be my first choice if I could. Uh, I watched Milo Murphy's Law recently on Disney Plus. Didn't realize the original and watched it was a Weird Al. Really? Wow. Varies. I know it varies. I mean, you know, clearly, because it's not like I'm going to be able to hire John DiMaggio anymore. <laughs> my God, why? Bring back Bender. I don't care. Take a pay cut for the fans. It's about self-respect. Oh, God. I understand that, but jeez. <laughs> I think all voice actors should be paid more, but, you know, if they're going to say, you know what, we're not paying this, then, I mean, it's read the room. Don't let the series hurt because of it. Anyway, whatever. Uh, new foamy fan mail or pumpkin guy fan mail? Hey, I can do fan mail. What's up? Hey, we should do that. I should just open up mail here. Well, we do that anyway. Mostly gifts, though. Thank you. Uh, Weird Al was even in Squid, uh, uh, no, a squid in Billy and Mandy. Nice. Buy my shiny metal a dollar. Right? Pretty much. It's all about the money, man. Go. So curious. What convinced you to give Pauline glasses? Do you have a love for glasses or something? You know, glasses look good on people when they look good on them. I don't know. Well, Jermaine had glasses too, right? Why not? I don't think this is lore, though. I think we're just messing around with accessories. Artists do that. Hey, if you didn't know, there's a lot of artists that just when they draw something, sometimes they'll throw glasses on it just to see what it looks like. People are like, what? Oh, she's got glasses now. What's going on? Where are my glasses? I know I got glasses here somewhere. Hold on. But don't take my glasses. Hmm. Oh, my glasses are missing. My glasses. Oh, no, there we go. Hold on. If you give me a second, I'll get my glasses on. All right, don't laugh. I don't look as good in glasses like everybody else, all right? I didn't realize how difficult it was to get glasses on my fat head with no ears. Give me a second. I literally got to put these glasses on. Hold on. All right, how about doing it without damaging my face? That'll be good, right? Wow, these things do not want to stay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta do like doctor work for this. Hold on. All right, no, it doesn't break. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I'm, I'm gonna be a genius. I gotta bend things by hand. Hold on. Come on, man. You want this to work right? You gotta do it right. No phoning it in. Hmm. Mm. Plumpkins were not made for glasses. I'm just letting you know. These aren't going to stay on. Wow. Did Pauline steal Foamy's laptop? That looks like the one from all the Foamy fan mails. Like they all, they all, we all, we have one laptop. We have a very limited budget. <clears throat> what do you want from me? What do you want? These are not going on. Wow. This is both unnerving and mesmerizing at the same time. Hmm. All right. Well, hypothetically, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to move very slowly. Very slowly. I want my glasses. We're showing the glasses. Not a crooked. I look like a professor. Wait for it. Wow. You know, I did this before and it wasn't so difficult. All right. Look, they're all messed up. They won't even stay on. My God. I feel like I should have a cane and a cup. <laughs> this is awful. Hey. Hey. Get you. Hello? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally not worth it. Oh, God. The... It's the same brand like Apple. What? I don't want to be like an alien war. 
I think this is an old Alienware. Then the squirrel take one of those old Alienwares and modify them. Yeah. You gonna give that back to him? Just something, yeah. Whatever. We didn't want to redraw another laptop, okay? <laughs> exactly. A lot of work. Who spray tanned Elton John? Ugh. Right? <laughs> Whatever. I tried. Uh, crooked Lennon or Harry Potter lenses. Yeah. I wonder if I got the clear ones. I had clear ones somewhere. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we tried it one time, and then I had to actually cut them out of paper just to have, like, sunglasses. But, eh, I tried. Uh, look lovely. Yeah, just can't see where I'm going. Mm, a friend told me that watching Twitch streamers when the war reminds me of him of The Simpsons and Krusty the Clown interrupts the show when the Falklands invaded. Oh, God. Yeah, but we're not covering that because everyone else is covering it, and it's just depressing. So let's let's not be depressed. Pauline's hair just borrowed what? From the void. What? Void. The void. We love you for trying. Thank you. I want my other glasses now. I'll find the other ones. Where are they? They were here, too, man. This is the problem. So frustrating. Hmm. Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, damn. I'm going through my big drawers of props. Here, I got a cookie. Here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah. No. No, that won't even show up on green screen. Damn it. Damn it. Where is that? Uh. All right. Uh. No, man, I can't find them. They're lost. They're lost. They're lost to the void. The void. Part of the end times. The end times. The times. Yeah. Should, hey, should I get a sign? The end is nigh. Bill Nye. The end is Bill Nye. <laughs> the end is Bill Nye, science guy. Mm, doo -doo -boo -boo. No aliens, just angelic beings and orbs and bright, bright lights. Did you see the orbs? The orbs. Mm -mm. We need to get pumpkin guys. Uh, Prince Niz. Style glasses. No, I don't need more glasses. My eyesight is perfect. Not really. Uh, bar, bar, boom. I come back from a meeting and I see a cookie. Yeah, because cookies, bruh. Bruh. Cookies. You know, everybody likes cookies. If you don't like cookies, we've got eggs. Look, you got lunch and dessert. Beautiful. <sighs> Has anybody made a cookie omelet sandwich? Like a cookie and then an egg and then a cookie. Somebody go do that and let me know how to taste. I'm not doing it. Hmm. Or how about a, hey, how about a, a cookie? Look at it. Look at this. Look, this is what you do. All right. You get a cookie, then you put an egg on the top of it. All right. It would be like a sweet, savory kind of thing. You don't know until you try. My God, nobody likes it. You know, you all got to try something new. Nobody's ever had a, a, a cookie McMuffin, okay? More pillows for the Go. pillow fort. Yeah, you hipster wearing glasses you don't need. You're making fun of peeps who need them. Yeah. I don't know. Tell it to the e-girls out there. <laughs> oh, man. The, the, the oatmeal cookies with egg. No, not oatmeal cookies. That's weird. They got to be chocolate chip and egg. Cookies have egg in them, so it's not weird. Yeah, so it'll be like having sweet eggs. Why not? I would eat that. I'm going to try that one day. I'm going to make myself some cookies, and I'm going to put a, a little omelet in between it. You know? Come on, because I, I, I... You know what you do? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Get Make salted caramel cookies, and then put the egg in there. Balanced breakfast? Yes. Yes, they weigh about the same. <laughs> Yeah, me and the quantity of food I'm eating. <laughs> it's a balanced breakfast. Yes, I balance my weight with the amount of food I'm eating. So we're eating 200 pounds of breakfast. Yes, every day. Uh, let's see. Now I want Japanese egg rolled and cookies. I'll go for it. Why not? What's holding you back? What's holding you back? Daniel Radcliffe for his Weird Al is so weird. No pun intended. It looks like, yeah, I thought that was a weird choice, but, you know, Daniel Radcliffe always, he goes out of his way to pick roles that are not Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? So, 
good for him for trying to diversify his range. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, maybe with one of those shortbread cookie things just to start, maybe. Maybe. Uh huh. When I was a kid, I made a tuna and chocolate. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Excuse me, that snuck up on me like I'm. It was right there. Oh, God. Oh, dude, you ever sneeze so hard it hurts your neck? I think I got whiplash. Oh, my God. I got to stretch this out. Oh, oh you can choices. hear the cracking. Oh. Sunny side up over easy or scrambled on your cookies. I like scrambled. But you know what? It's really difficult to get good scrambled eggs. You figure it was just like your scrambled eggs is basically somebody who can't make eggs. Okay. But even that is sometimes difficult. Yeah. And thank you for the blesses use. Thank you. Technically, I don't absolutely need my glasses, but along with astigmatism, I have sensitive eyes due to welding. So they just make things clearer and I splurge for transitions. There you go. Transitions. Yeah. Um, you got a pair of transitions, but they always make it look like you're, you're, um, dark. Like your eyes always look dark because they never kind of get 100% clear. But of course, we got the cheap ones that you get at like Zenny, the Zenny ones. They're the cheap version. Um, but they work. You know, I go outside, I don't get blinded. It's nice. Uh, but they're still not as good as like real sunglasses, like those dark mirrored ones. I love those. I like ketchup on my scrambled eggs. Ketchup and eggs. Mm. Thank you, Bright Light Star. Mm. Uh, boom, boom. Add a little flour to your pancake mix to your scrambled eggs. It makes it hold the integrity. Adds a little sweetness and makes it more fluffy. Oh, there you go. Nice. Usually we, we try to add a little bit of milk for some reason. I know. Your grandparents always added milk to an omelet to make it a little bit more fluffy. I don't know. Kind of works. Yeah. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Write it down. There you go. Tackleberry had the best tackleberry. I've never heard of tackleberry. Tackleberry. Do, 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 do. All right, I need more coffee. I got to, uh, that, that sneeze dislodged my caffeinated buzz. Uh. Yeah, I'm aware of Russia right now. Every, I think everyone is. We're just trying to be on the bright side. Always look on the bright side of life. Everyone! <laughs> Life's a piece of... When you look at it. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. See, I would play that song now, but the DMCA. Gonna get the DMCA because you played a song. DMC... Okay. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. Rip David Graff. I right, know. Side note about Tackleberry. He's from Lima, Ohio. Is that good? Actually, though, my mom had a recipe for scrambled eggs where she did add flour, milk, and baking powder, as well as diced bacon. Everything's better with diced bacon. Everything. Oh, yeah. Diced bacon. <laughs> uh, or I should say he was from Ohio. All right. When I ride my bike, my helmet keeps the sun from activating the transition, so I still have to clip onto... Oh, that's so annoying. See, that's the flaw in transitions there. After not hitting the direct sunlight there, you're still getting the brightness. Yeah, I don't care for that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a big... But no matter what happens, it's going to be okay. I promise. I promise. It's going to be all right. Mm. Cooked, of course, in the bacon grease with cooking and bacon. Oh, yeah, that is a good trick. No, you cook the bacon first and then cook the eggs in the bacon grease. Oh, it's so good. So bad for you, though, but who cares? I used to have a friend who made maple bacon and Guinness cupcakes. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. If I tried doing that, I would just have to get a cupcake, Guinness, and then put bacon on top of it. It's just, I can't do any of that. Mm -mm. I'm terrible as a cook, girl. I'm not good. I'm so mad like I'm drowning. <laughs> Why does that happen every once in a while? It's got my allergies. My allergies are kicking in. We had one more day, and now I'm like, oh my god, my nose. Post nasal drip. I'm all right. Didn't that sound like meat wad for a second? Who was that? What is it, man? All right. Uh, anyway, where's a golem? Golem. 
Uh, send some good vibe bits to Cheryl. Cosplay. Yeah, cosplay. Excalibur, hi. Catholic Barbarian. I used to have friends who made maple bacon. I read that. Why did I just read that? All right. Hearing Merman from He-Man. Oh, that's right. Merman from He-Man. Oh, that's old school. Nice. I don't know. So who's doing what? I don't know. We've had a, uh, like, meet watch uh, since our golem. Golem. I want it. I need it. No, I can't do that. I can't do it on cue. I'm terrible. Terrible voice actor. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. All right, what else is going on? I, yeah, literally the bacon eggs are in my way. Hold on. Bacon and eggs are in my way. I got to go away. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, I'll have been streaming for two hours and two minutes. Oh, have I? Two hours and three minutes, according to my clock. Mm. What's that? Oh, dirty squirrel. What? Might be easier in a car. Who's in the car? What's happening? Bacon pancakes. Oh, the vocals in the car. Yeah, I didn't do anything there. Mm. Bacon pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. Oh, I got a, th I got a question. If they're doing more... um. Oh, God. Because they did the three, or was it four, Adventure Time uh, HBO specials or whatever. Um, if they do more, is, like, John DiMaggio going to be uh, difficult to work with for Jake? Yeah, because I, I feel like that's pretty essential, too. God, this is what happens when you're so essential, and then you're like, I need more money. And I kind of get that, but I'm like, my God, think about the, the depriving you're doing to viewers. Ugh. I know, I know it sounds bad, but like <clears throat> hypothetically, so you were you were making a foamy movie, and they wanted to underpay you to do the foamy voice and Pilsy and Begley and the pizza guy and the Franklin guy and basically everyone else with the exception of Jermaine. Um, if they wanted to lowball it, would you just be like, no, no, I'm worth more than that. I demand more money, and they're like, well, no, we can't afford it. Like this is it. This is what. I mean, I don't know. I feel really bad just being like, nope, nope, not worth it. Nope. And just walking. I would, I think I would take the pay cut because I think fans would expect it, you know? I don't know. It's going to be really awkward at those uh, Comic Cons there, DiMaggio. I'm just saying. Ugh, God. I don't know. He's got to do what's right for him, but it kind of sucks for fans. You. Go. So is a later Thursday stream going to be normal? Or are you and still married to Wednesday afternoon? Um... No, I'm usually Wednesday afternoon. I was thinking about doing a night stream on Wednesday, but I don't know how that's going to work for everybody. So we'll see. We shall see. Because not everybody can be here at particular times, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, on the weekends, it's fine because I can reach a lot of people Sunday morning. But um, during the week, it's kind of tricky. Because you know? usually, usually, here's the thing, what I do, it's like usually I'll, I'll work all, all in the morning, do the stream, and then work all at night. So it's like... If I walk all during the day, I'm going to be exhausted by the time a night stream comes around. And I'm going to be like, hey, man, how's it going? Sorry, I've been working for 12 hours already. Hey, everyone want to get hyped? Ugh. You know. <laughs> uh, it worked great for me because of work. Work. There you go. Bacon-wrapped hot dogs. I haven't had bacon-wrapped hot dogs. I feel like that would be a good thing. Uh, a bell pepper stuff like baked potato with bacon really good. Mmm. Enjoy having some pay per production as Jermaine. Only one fee for all acting. No bonus for subsequent characters or screen time. Hmm. Well, that that's what I'm used to right now. So it wouldn't really a big, be a big change for me. Um, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. The concept of voice acting for me it seems, God, I would have more fun with it than I would worry about a paycheck. And that's probably just bad for the industry. I'd be like, oh, cool, I get to do voices, yay, you know? And it'd be like, all right, here's your 20 bucks, you know, enjoy it. And I'd be like, cool, I did voices. I know I'm still, like, stupid that way. I'm like, I'm like a tiny kid that just has, like, fun doing the stuff, and then it's like if I make something, I'm happy with it. So I'm like, oh, cool, I did a thing. Here, look, you know? I don't know. It's weird. I know at a certain point your, your passion Thank has you. to become a business, right? Yay! yay. Mariner, what's up? How's it going? Four moons. Thank you for the four moons. Why the hell am I just seeing a white screen? Uh, I don't know. 
Maybe you're one of those people that when you close your eyes, instead of seeing darkness, you see a real bright light. Don't go to the light, bloody angel. Don't go to the light. Wait, I think you're supposed to go to the light. No, don't go to the light. Go to the light. Don't go to the light. I'm getting mixed messages here. What am I doing? Go to the light. Don't go to the light. Go to the light. But they have brownies. <laughs> but what, would they be blondies then? That's what I haven't had in a while. Oh, uh, a not chocolate brownie. What do they call blondies, right? Seems weird. Uh... Caroline, yeah. I'm back after a successful C trial. C trial? What did you do that they had to try you at sea? That goes beyond international waters. Oh, God. That must be rough. Hope you survived. No, triple fudge. There used to be a really good place that made, like, homemade brownies. Oh, my God. They were, like, stacked with everything. There was this triple chocolate... All right, here's the thing. It was not only a triple chocolate brownie, it had chocolate chips in it. Then it had a layer of caramel on it and then a layer of coconut on top of it. It was so good. And every time I went to this place, I would always get it. And then they closed. And I was like, you son of a, where am I getting I've never found them since. I'm very angry about that, you know, because they were so good. Oh, God. The coconut caramel triple chocolate chip brownie it was grossly good. It's probably best for my interest, you know. Ah, oh, that it doesn't exist. Make it sound like you're taking a bite out of a blonde, what, blonde woman. Blondie? Blondie. Stay glossy. Yeah. Every ship need TP push limits to on-sea trail to make sure the ship works. Oh, Bella. I thought you did something. There's an Amish place that makes really good baked goods. Nice. There you go. Lucky. I thought you did something wrong and they had to try you at sea like a pirate. Like yar, you have you have you know gone against pirate you, you know laws that kind of thing. Thank you, Hemi. Forty nine moons. Thank you. Have done learn to make them on stream. Oh no, they're just gonna be weird little gummy treats from Japan apparently. Every time she tries to make something, you see the donut, the disfigured donut that looks like it's just having a sh you know, whatever. Oh my god. Anyway, all right. Well, I'm glad you didn't violate pirate law. So good for you. Yar. <laughs> How do I feel? I feel alive. I feel happy. Get on the cart. I'm not dead yet. You can see. Bloody angel can see. Oh. I don't know. Demon be gone? Does that, does that work? Uh, arr. <laughs> Have Dawn make lobster rolls on stream. Dude, She's got like a, a, a 12 by 10 area to work with. You can't really make lobster rolls in a 12 by 10 area. You know? you know what we can do? Coffee. Boom. Go. Dude, two hours. I haven't had any water. I should probably have water and then wash it down with coffee. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Come on. Quick. I got to say, my hey, my voice always sounds sounds better or feels better later in the day. You know? We only started an hour later than usual, and I'm like, hey, I feel good. I feel like I just got on. This is nice. This is nice. I can do this. I can do things like that. Notice Hold me. on, I gotta wash it down with coffee. It's a sign. It's a sign. And it says coffee. Yep. That's the thing. I know when I try to do vocals first thing when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I got to clear out the throat. Dude, later on in the day, I'm just like, what's up, bro? What's up? How's it going? Yeah. Yeah. You know, pretty good. I can even do the macho man thing. Oh, yeah. See, it doesn't even bother me. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Maybe as the sun diminishes, my power becomes stronger. Perhaps. Hmm. Let us see, chat. Uh, I'm going to make the birds and squirrels around my apartment fat with this homemade suet. Why are you doing that? Why are you giving it? Why are you giving the local wildlife diabetes? What are you doing? Bloody angel, you're mean. I hate the new coffee in my work bout. What? Bought. Oh, bought. Oh, God. That's the worst because then you got to go through it all. Oh, my God. You have the voice. You have the voice. Well, what am I going to do with it? I don't know. Do voiceovers. 
Leave weird messages for people. Tell them their car warranty is expired. <laughs> you imagine getting a message like that? We're calling you to let you know your car warranty is expired. I suggest you call us back to renew your warranty. Do it now. Oh God, Ma! Ma, we got this cryptic message about our car, car warranty. What do, what, do, what do we do? It is very threatening. I don't know, call him back. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Worse than the muddy water the military uses. What? Uh, Hills he calling people about the warranty. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm calling because your car's on fire and exploded. And, you know, it's not covered unless you cover it. Call me back. Click. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that Jack Palance? No, it, it, every, anytime you hear Jack Palance, it sounds like he's, uh, he's, he's like holding a hot pot. He's always like, Mucho gracias. he's always got that sound. Just makes you sound like you smoked five packs of cigarettes a day for 40 years. All right. See, I can get those cool results without having to smoke. Nice. <laughs> no, Jack Palance. He's always just like, hey. You know, every every time he breathes in, it's like he's 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 holding a hot poker or something, you know? Welcome. You know, it's like, oh, God, dude, you all right? Walking on hot coals. Hi. <laughs> oh, Jack Palance. Mm, that's a nice car you got there. Shame if something were to happen to it, right? Hey, that's a nice car you got there. What's up? Uh, Christopher Walken. I can't really do Christopher Walken. It just falls apart after a while. Um, let's see. I don't know what's going on. Mm -mm. From the recipe I use, I made four slabs. Slabs. I don't know. I... I, I mm. The term slab is never appealing when it's in, like, food form. Nobody does food measurements by slabs. You know, give me 12 slabs of cow. You know, it's kind of weird. Eh. Give me 12 slabs of donuts. A slab of donut? Are you mad? Hmm. More pillows for the pillow fault. Go. You ever gonna go back to Vinny? I'm sure he misses you. Hey, Vinny can figure it out himself, all right? I'm a very busy person here. You know, Vinny can hire somebody else to destroy people's property, all right? I got better things to do. I got uh, I got car warranties to sell right now, all right? You can measure slabs of bacon. Slab of bacon? Oh, that's true. I guess so. Yeah, bacon is the only food, though, right? What about lamb? Is lamb slab a lamb? Lamb slab? That's kind of fun to say. <laughs> Slab of lamb. Eh, I'm so proud of you for doing something you love and enjoy. Hey, me too. Uh, may your life be filled with love, peace, joy, wonder, kindness, warmth, delights, hugs, and great food. I agree with everything except for hugs because that's physical contact. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see, that's good. Thank you, Janice. Appreciate Hmm. Barrels is the most obsolete unit of measure I know. Barrels? Barrels? Well, no, 12 barrels of, uh, what, oil, I guess? Yeah, when I think barrels as a measurement, I'm thinking, like, you know, oil, gas. But, uh, I don't know. What else? I never get a barrel of coffee. Maybe a barrel of whiskey. Whiskey barrel? Yeah, maybe that works. Do you like this person that everybody feels comfortable talking to? I know I do. No. <laughs> I'm usually very uncomfortable about people that are easy to talk to because I feel like they're too easy to talk to, so they must be hiding something. Yeah. Those are drums. Oh. No, drums are what Neil Peart played. What about Hector? Of, what Hector? A Hector of measurement? What is a space talk? Oh, speaking of space, uh, yo, is the next Beavis and Butthead movie called Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe? Because remember what I said about franchises being tossed in space? Because I said it's supposed to be the most bombastic or whatever, stupid space something. I'm like, I don't want them in space. Beavis and Butthead in space is just dumb. Don't throw it in space. Space. 
rule of thumb, when a franchise gets bad, you throw it in space. If they start in space, what you do is the reverse. You throw it down on Earth, Star Trek. Um, you know, and then it gets worse. So I'm just letting you know. Uh, Jason X in space. Space! Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Not unless you're sending it over to the internet. I'm sending one over to the internet. We, don't send it over to the internet. I was talking too loud right there. Yeah. Mike Judge had a great series recently called Tales from the Tour Bus. Didn't watch it. I haven't watched a lot of anything recently. I just, I don't care. I mean, I've been, I literally binge watched Loki last night. Did anybody here see Loki? What'd you think of it? I, I, I liked the first couple of episodes and then it kind of just, uh, like that could have been five episodes, not six. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. Fast and the Furious 26, the space race. Space. Family in space. <laughs> Family. Huh. It was okay. Yeah, like, uh, okay, if, if Hiddleston wasn't Loki, I wouldn't bother. But uh, there was, there was uh, oh, God. I, I, here's the thing. The multidimensional thing is going to get real tiring real fast. But, uh, eh. <clears throat> it's not bad. It has potential. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was kind of like, uh, you know, if we're going to scale a five, it was like a three out of five for me. With the potential to be a four. But, uh. I don't know. Kind of, yeah, a bit. Certain parts were jank, but Hiddleston kind of held it together because he's excellent as Loki. All right, thank you. I want a cookie. Who doesn't want a cookie? Now, still avoiding Disney. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't sub. We had a free month, so I'm just gonna binge watch everything I wanted to on the platform, and then I'm just gonna be like, whatever. I'll, I'll go back to you next time you have a free month to give out Disney. So yeah, um. On my list, I got to watch uh, nothing Star Wars, so that clears up a, a big chunk of playlist. I wanted to see Black Widow, Eternals, um, the Shang Chi, uh, and Marvel's What If. That's about it. I know people are gonna be like, "You got to see Wandavision." I don't care. I don't care enough about. I'll skim it. I will skim it so fast. I'll be scrubbing those videos like like I'm a, a curler. You know what I'm saying? So just going right through them. There's no way I'm sitting through that. Uh, no, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm, I'm no, I don't care, and I don't care about Hawkeye either. All right, what am I, ooh, no. Uh, Loki is Hiddleston, yeah, because clearly trying to get other people to play the part in that series kind of didn't work. Um, yeah, it's hit or miss. The Gator did well. Um, mm -mm -mm. Shang Chi was good. We shall see. I don't know. There was this um. The whole pre-promotional of that was just really annoying because everyone turned it into like a race issue. And I'm like, because, you know, everything, whatever. <sighs> I don't even want to get into it. It was kind of like Black Panther. It's like, if you don't like it, there's, you know, you're being biased. And I'm like, no, it was a three out of five for me, you know? And I feel like Shang-Chi is going to be the same thing. Probably a three out of five for me. But I just, I hate the way internet turns it into this whole, it's like, can't I just watch a movie without having all this woke stuff and politics and all this other stuff injected into my brain? I just want to watch a film and have fun. You know, we're really concerned about all this stuff with uh, considering the fictional realm this takes place in. Come on. Uh, it's like Tony Stark. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. No, definitely. Dude, you imagine having to recast uh Tony Stark, Ugh, that's gonna that's gonna be some big shoes to fill. But they are gonna re reboot. Uh, what do you call it? Fantastic Four uh, again. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Oh God. Mm, 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 mm. Dun, dun. Tom Hiddleston is Florida man. <clears throat> Florida man. Just two big dogs running around. What what is going on over there? Multiverse. There was a good meme going around that. Um, the multiverse now is like the e the old evil twin storyline that they used to have. Yeah. It's like, oh, it must be an evil twin. Oh, you know, like when what Michael Knight had his his basically evil twin and you just slap a goatee on him, you know, evil twin. And that's what multiverses are right now. Multiverses are the goatee of of evilness right now. Well. Nope. That's why Doctor Who is now jank. Yeah, but you're supposed to be hiring those uh, really good producers 
back again. I forget their names, but like the good people. So we'll see. Mm, hoping fourth time actually works. Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, just keep rebooting the Fantastic Four. They're really trying to push it to make it work. You know? And you know they're going to be doing X-Men stuff, and they're going to make it like, oh, God, I don't know how you're going to recast Hugh Jackman. That is that is rough. I would rather them do a deep fake of Hugh Jackman and just have him still do the voice and everything than recast, seriously. I love Fantastic Four, but I'm not interested in Disneyverse. Eh, Disney. Technically, isn't it the fifth Fantastic Four movie? Well, I mean, if you want to go ye olden times, then yeah, I mean, you know. There's been so many iterations of it. Bring back the Roger Corman one. Release it in theaters. Nobody ever, never, you know, hey, Twitter. You know how you like your fill-in-the-blank director's cut? Where's your where's your zeal for uh, the Roger Corman Fantastic Four? Where's your, release it now, you know? Throw it up there on Disney. People will watch it just as a morbid curiosity. Come on. Mm. Dun, dun. Fantastic four by four. That'd be a good, uh, you know, marketing campaign for Ford. Just saying. Do the same thing they did with Tron and the Jeff Bridges dude. Jeff the dude Bridges. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. You almost got a free game today. You almost got a free game. Well, that means you didn't. Doesn't help us. Good luck recasting Patrick Stewart as well. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to deep fake the entire... Dude, you know, dude, Patrick Stewart was perfect for, uh, what, Professor X. Even McAvoy. McAvoy was excellent, too. So, nice. you know what? Uh, it's a possibility. You want a good Fantastic Four movie? It's called The Incredibles, and it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it is true. So when the knockoff is better than the original. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. No, but dude, McAvoy, McAvoy did an excellent job as uh, Professor X. Dude, he was awesome, you know? He had that nice bit of humanity over there, and it wasn't kind of old and stuffy, you know? Like mutants, you know? We have a gifted score for mutants. All right, all right, Patrick, okay. Um, no, I like Patrick Stewart. I'm just poking fun. But, uh, you know, McAvoy had a nice humanity about the uh, Professor X character. You know? mm. Dude, I, I like the... I like the uh, First class was a good uh, introduction into like a kind of a rebooted thing. If they do that again, that that would kind of work well. Yeah, McAvoy worked uh, being a young jerky dude that grew into the serious sensei. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was I, that was a, that was always such a good thing about Marvel, man. That character progression is really good. Dude, Dark Phoenix though was terrible. That was God. Why did they make that movie? Oh God. It hurt my soul, that movie. I thought that was dreadful on every level. You know? God, I don't know what happened. Oh, and uh, the Fassbender guy who did uh, Magneto. Also cool. But, I, oh, dude, Ian McKellen as Magneto was amazing. Even in that bad movie, the third one. Last Stand. He was still good in that. You watch it basically for him because he's just such a good good actor. How dare you attack Mac and Stewart and should now throw muffins at you with extreme quickness. It's going to take a while to get to me, though. Uh, that was Fox, not Marvel. Yeah, no, because I know that Dark Phoenix as a comic book, like, that's a thing. But it's just, I was hoping they would do that, and it they did it, and it was wrong. I haven't seen Dark Phoenix. I would say watch it if, you, if you're curious, because, you know, some of the acting was good, but it was just kind of... It didn't work the way I wanted to, you know, because it could have been a lot better. You know, but of course, I was I was like the person that grew up on those Chris Claremont years of X-Men. So it's like when I see something like that in, in film form, I'm just like, oh, God. Ugh, stressful. Um, I thought Dark Phoenix was pretty meh. Yeah, pretty much. But I, uh, that's the problem. It was meh. You know, but the source material wasn't, and that's what bothered me. The Quicksilver Rush scene was awesome. Yeah. I need to watch the amazing, what is it, comedy special again? What? Died yesterday? Ah, everyone died. God. I have X-Men number 142 to 250. God, I think I have X-Men number 53 up until 300. And I'm talking about consecutive issues. 
like without missing one. And I'm not even joking about that. I got to see my earliest X-Men comic, I think is like number 13. No joke. Like I, I did not mess around with X-Men. It is the, it, like, and then I stopped because it started, the story started just, it, it started falling apart. All right. I'm saying Uncanny X-Men, not the reboot that they did in the 90s. The Uncanny X-Men, the proper series that came out. And then I started getting all those little things when I had crossovers with X-Factor and the New Mutants and all that stuff. I collected Gambit for a while. Yeah. Dude, no joke. Mm -mm -mm. I got to bring those out. I should really get those graded or something like that, especially the earlier issues. Yeah. It's like after a while, I'm like, why am I still holding on to these? I know I can make money. Hey. If you ever have to get some kind of uh, operation, there you go. Start on the X-Men comics. Uh, I only have the day the X-Men died comic. Ooh, still a good one. I have the one where Rogue joined X-Men. Yeah. Dude, some of those early covers, if you, if you want to see some cool dramatic cover art, the earlier ones around, I want to say one, 180. Some of them got real dark. And especially the one by Mark Silvestri, uh, where it's like, Wolverine was kind of hanging on this cross. I think that was, I want to say maybe 236. I could be. But even the Alan Davis, Paul Neary ones, uh, 213 was an excellent cover, very dynamic. Um, they had some very gruesome, dark covers. Um, and the content was very dark, very serious. And for some reason, I gravitated towards it. Hall of Foils were amazing. Yeah. I enjoyed Legion Quest into Age of Apocalypse. Legion. I think 198 was Wolverine slashing and about three issues. Nice. Mm. I have the Logan, Deadpool, and Captain American crossover. Nice. There's also that old one with, uh, God, Black Widow, Captain America, Wolverine. I still want to say it's 268. Issue 268 of Uncanny X-Men was done by Jim Lee. Pretty cool. I grew up in 90s X-Men. Yeah. I think that was like, like a, oh, God. Comics were really good in the 90s, man. Now, everyone was really pushing it, and then it was like things fractured off into image comics. Dude, comics were exciting back then. Now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It was so weird. It was like, you know, dude, when you had all those artists up and leave Marvel and DC to go to make their own image comics, that was amazing. You know, and then you had Spawn, Wildcats, you know, Witchblade, all that stuff. It was insane. I would love to see Maximum Security animated, but not live action. Boo. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know, dude, that, that, that was back in the day, you'd get on your little bike and, you know, bike 10 miles to the comic shop to literally buy comics. It was insane. Yeah, you already used the plushie reserve. Yeah, I still got some. I still got some. Couple. No pillsies now. What? A Friday stream? Maybe where you are, but it's Thursday here. Uh, uh, I'm still a DC Comics guy. I'll go Image or Dark Horse before I go Marvel. <laughs> hey, Marvel used to be good. I don't know about now. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can say my screen name is based on X-Men. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, man. Dude, I like the Inferno thing that was going on, too, in X-Men. That was awesome. In my day, all we had to play with rocks and sticks. We grew up happy. Until somebody stabbed you and beat you with rocks. <laughs> what? You get splinters. Mm, we'll be Friday stream, won't they, Mr. Pumpkin? What? No. No, I'm not doing Friday yet. My opinion, what? Uh, trying to share universes with Youngblood killed image continuity. Oh, God, I forgot about that series. Yeah. Mm. But that was Lee, Lee Fields. Lie Fields? Whatever his name is. Yeah. I don't know. Gen 13. That was when comics were a little risque, too, with costumes. All we can do is watch what? Munch on carpet. What? I have a signed copy, Batman vs. Spawn. Nice. Good job. I don't think I have a lot of signed comics. I think it was too awkward. I think you were too awkward as a kid to go up to anybody and be like, could you shine this? You know, it's kind of really just... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, where you were one of those. Yeah. Right now, you probably wouldn't even bother. Like, if you saw me, be like... I didn't even think you'd bother him. You'd be like, hey, what's up? Just talk to him like a normal person. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Uh, the only signed thing I have is my first CD from Tom Smith. Let's see. What do I got? Do I have anything signed? 
Here you go. I got one signed magic card that's probably worth something. This one. I don't know. What is it called? It's not going to focus. Taunus's Coffin. Yeah, that we actually got at a comic shop in ye olden times. And not for nothing, I think we paid like $5 for it because it was signed. It wasn't a popular card back then, but it's actually worth something now. Mm. Mm. It's weird that stuff that I have just like right there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the comic store I had ordered it, but the guy never showed up, so he sold it to me. Nice. Hang on. I have stuff signed by Real Big Fish. Yes. I got an album signed by Bob Mould. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. I have the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers comics, including Fat Friends. Com Ooh, nice. I have a signed picture of Stan Lee. True believer. Nice. I did meet Sarah Anderson and got her to sign my copy of Invader Zim 11. Nice. There you go. I got it signed by him after the day of his concert in my college. I literally introduced myself with a hi, um, the cheap ass beep. No, check. I can say check. All right. Uh, who bought the $5 disc? Can you sign it? Nice. <laughs> What's the other thing we got signed? Um, oh, God. Oh, no, a Zenith soundtrack signed by Lucy Lawless. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty epic. Right. I, I like it. What do you want from me? I always have them sign the back cover so they don't mess up the front. Um, let's see. Huh. I'm a kill for that. Let's see. I have a Metallica signed poster for the Symphony of Metallica album. Mm, I don't know. It could have been a better album. <laughs> Symphonies. Let's see. Uh, this year, it's Image Comics 30th anniversary. So there, hey, there's that. Nice. I got 30 years ago today. Image Comics was a thing. I got a binder full of old football cards from when Buffalo Bills were good. Hmm. They did feature my portrait of him on a website and still there, which is really cool. Nice. Melissa got paid for an autograph with Alice Cooper. Also got a photo. Nice. Well, dude, Alice Cooper, come on. I, I, For me, it's like I always want to meet the person and get an autograph. You know? It's really difficult for me to, like, go out of my way to, like, not do that. You know? I feel like, I know, but now, especially now, it's like I'd probably have to just be like, hey, can you sign this? I'll mail it to you. you know? Friday live stream. That's what I want. Well, come on. Mm, signing something might be one million dollars who knows in live stream tomorrow is that terrible what no nobody's gonna want my signature besides my 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 scrawl is kind of scribbly what am i doing i don't know have a dave davies signed bug cd and his autograph kink signed nice have a ray davies signed concert does anybody have anything signed by the beatles <laughs> god oh man Bum, 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 bum. I got my Captain Carrot and the Zoo Crew number one signed. Captain Carrot, Zoo Crew. Hmm. Tiny Bird just grabbed huge blueberry and jumped away. Why? What are you gonna? Are you gonna sit? It's gonna sit there and snack on it and then have a conversation. Of course, it's gonna leave. Sycora ended permanently, or are they just ending their stream? What's happening? Meeting Alice, Alice is the coolest thing I ever got to do. I hear Alice Cooper's like kind of a chill person, you know? He's just like, hey, what's going on? You know? Oh. I never met him, so I'm just going to assume those stories are true. Mm, I'm out. Need to go get food. Go get food. Thanks for being here. Be well. Stay safe. Get yourself something for your face to eat. Mm. Some of these birds will just hang out and engorge themselves with food. Well, you know, maybe that one's got anxiety, you know? Birds can have anxiety. I mean, come on, dude. I want to meet the very handsome, dashing Chris Harm from Lord of the Lost. Hmm. The only thing I ever had signed was a CD when I got to go backstage and meet Carlos Santana. Ooh, Carlos Santana. Nice. He's a good guitar player. Come on. All right, we're doing it, chat. We're getting more coffee. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm drinking the rest of this right now. Come on, I gotta get through this. Almost done. All right, here you go. I still got a lot of water though, so I, I don't know where that leaves us for the rest of the stream. 
I finished my coffee. But there's water. So we'll see. Alice Cooper is a very nice guy. I was golfing in Phoenix. He and Glenn Campbell were coming. Wow, I can't imagine. Really? Glenn Campbell? All right. Uh, we're coming up fast, and we let them play through. He was a nice uh, guy, so it was Glenn. Nice. Hmm. I can honestly say he was cool to meet. I was afraid to get uh, starstruck, but he did listen to me and talk for the few minutes I got with him. Nice. That's always cool when they actually, like, take the time, and you're just like, all right, no, it's cool. What's up? What's up? Just talk to me like I'm a person, you know, that kind of thing. But it's difficult because, like, when you meet somebody who's quote unquote famous or you admire or something like that, it's like you have all these thoughts in your head where it's like, oh my God, this is like the person. You know, but they, you know, after you talk to them for like a couple of minutes, it's like, all right, no, they're down to earth and they're human. Yay. Relatable. I always like that. I don't like when people are unrelatable where they're like, oh, oh, you want my autograph, whatever. Do you realize who I am? Yeah, that's why I want your autograph, you schmuck. Now I don't. You suck. Yeah. Mm. PG getting more coffee. What a shocker. Shocker. That's the name of a movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. That would have been something back forward. This won't be there. Yeah. There you go. Go. Uh, Alice Cooper is a very cool guy. At one concert at a local small casino, he played two hours longer than scheduled, and at the end, he end jumped off stage and gave everyone a handshake. Uh, made the security guards go nuts. Uh, this was during a Halloween event. Oh, Alice Cooper on Halloween. Ah, oh, that must have been awesome. He's keeping Halloween alive. 365. Come on. Mm. Water is a gateway lick into coffee and tea. Yeah. I, I always think of water as non-coffee. Yeah. So it's like... Ugh. It's so gross. Shatner. What? Shatner's kind of full of himself, allegedly? I don't know. I've never met... William Stay Shatner. Go. Brian, oh, thank you. 40 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Shatner is not somebody you want to meet. Well, if he's that rude, I would just call him the Shat. I'll call him Billy Shat. <laughs> oh, God. What? I'll be like, everyone, look, it's the Shat. They shat him into space. <laughs> oh, man. No, nothing, nothing brings a celebrity down to earth than when you just, you shorten their name to something that is almost like a swear word, you know? <laughs> uh, it makes me feel better. Very, very neat. Yeah. Bill Shatner is deserving of his last name, Shat. Shatting all over the place. I don't know. Again, I've never met him, so, you know, I, I can't say firsthand. Well, in his defense, he's probably had to deal with Trekkies for, like... 50 years you know what i'm saying i'd probably be a little irate if i was like oh god yeah go ahead ask me another tricorder question oh what about spock okay here we go yeah it'd be like galaxy quest kind of parody you know i, I would get so upset at that point i'd be like oh my god please <laughs> please stop all right whatever the shit mm -mm -mm. he's apparently a bleep to his co-workers too who's he working with Does he still work? Oh, I'm assuming he does. I can't imagine him being mean in space, though, you know? It's like, yo, Shat, you better lock that down or I'm just going to just open up this airlock and you're going to be literally the Shat in space. We're going to Shat you out of here. <laughs> Spock! You know, just... God. Hey, he got to go to space, so it, it, what's that say about somebody's personality? Thank you. you know? Yeah. Angela, thank you. 200 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, shat in space. Yeah, see, when something's terrible, you throw it into space. Um, brum, brum, brum. What's up? I got to go. There you go. Random Hagwitch. Thanks for being here. Want to shower and get ready for Studio 666? Ooh, you get to go watch that. Nice. Good. Enjoy it. Later. Thanks for being here. Go. Uh, Galaxy Quest was written with input from Bill's co-worker. You can now see him playing a lawyer. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Really? Is that true? I, I could kind of see that then. Yeah. Did, did, did Shatner let, make everybody wait two hours before he showed up? 
Got the, oh, got that. Uh, if I had all the money I wanted, I mean, why be mean any to anyone? Yeah, that's true. Or they turned the ship around and brought him back. All right. They're like, you know, we were going to have this, this, we were going to boldly go where no man has gone before, but uh, the shat does not need to be here. We're not going to throw her, or throw her shat into space. <laughs> oh my God. There's enough shat out here. We don't need more shat. <laughs> All right, I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, come on. Uh, two days in a three-day convention. Nice. Bobblehead Deadpool does not approve. Are you sure? I feel like he would be nodding up and down. Oh, I didn't even see if anyone was streaming yet. We do have to wrap this up. No, because I've been on for like almost three hours here. Two hours, 42 minutes. Um, but let me, I don't know. Maybe I'll see who's streaming. I don't know, unless you guys want to talk more. I mean, I don't know. This place is going to close up soon. Uh, Get that? Read that? Read that? No, I'm pretty much all cut up. I'm all, I'm all cut up, caught up on my virtual paperwork here. All right. I don't know. Let me check. Let me see what's going uh, Let me see what's going on in the world. Let me see what's going on in the world. Let's see who's screaming. Is anybody screaming? Throw a slipper. Why are you doing that? Don't throw your slippers. You need those for your feet. You need them for your feet. Gonna go see who's on. Hopefully they won't do anything loud and hold on. La 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 la. Okay, good. I always got to, every time I go to look at Twitch, I'm always worried about like auto, everything's playing all at once. Hear me again. Hmm. All right. Is anyone not playing Elden Ring? Oh my God. Hear me again. What the? Wow. There's not a lot of people on. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, you could. It'll just be very lonely. Uh, let's see what's going on. Wow. It's like nobody usual on. What the shoes, man? What the shoes? Uh, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. You know, for a game that comes out tomorrow, everyone seems to be playing it today. Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. You know, I'm going to do I'm going to do auto host at this point. Come on, bruh. 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 What do you mean Cameron? I didn't even see Cameron. Really? Are you sure? Where? Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Should be on my list. I'm not camera. Stop auto-correcting me. Camera. Camera the Corgi. Good job. Y yes. Hello? Are you sure? All right. Oh, my God. Stop. Chat, stop moving. Wow, it's like quite literally not showing up. Hold hold that thought. Don't talk. Don't talk. Shh, shh. Okay. Oh, they are on. All right, cool. Oh, they're low. The stream is loading. They haven't started yet. Let me know when they're live. And we can do that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now I got now I got ideas. I got ideas and plans. Do 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 I'm setting it up. Whenever on, I want eh. Should have put on a be right back screen because that would have been more fun to look at. Just saying. I'm just saying. The camera to Corgi's on. Well, they're starting up. Let me know when they're live live. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk because I can. You're not really talking, you're texting. Destroy the plans with extra chocolate. Plans? Why are you gonna destroy the plans? Plans are good. God, now I gotta alt tab my way out of all this stuff. Ah. Ah. What's up? Notice mm -hmm. me. Hi. What's your take on the Chrono Trigger game? I don't know. I haven't played any of them. I haven't played any of them. I don't really have a take on a game I haven't played. And I can watch it and see what it do. I can watch it and see what it do, and then have a, I don't know, a hot take. That's what all the internet people say. Hey, hey, what's your hot take? 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to show that publicly. You know, I've been eating a lot of weird foods. Um, let's see. Confused tomato is confused. Well, that happens. Mm. Now live, officially live. All right, they're officially live. Well, I didn't want to send everyone over to a now loading stream screen, you know, that kind of thing. Mm, what's your opinion of near Automata anime being developed? It could be good. It could be bad. It depends on who who's handling it and how it's handled. That's like everything else. Now, they're making a Fallout TV series. Could be good. Could be bad. Bioshock movie. Could be good. Could be bad. I don't know. We'll see. I always wait for the first trailer to come out before I'm like, oh my God, what did they do? You know, that kind of thing. I need to see stuff before I, you know, do a thing. Why are your pockets filled with beans? What is? What do you do with your life? How does that even happen? That is like the first, okay, unless you're picking beans for a living, there's no reason that your pockets should be filled with beans. You know, that's weird. You're breaking into the bean market. Mustard coffee beans. I could see that happening. Yeah, but uh, that's kind of rare. But there we go. All right. Did you ever have an SNES? Yes, I had an NES, an SNES, and then PS1, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, uh, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Xbox 360. I think I said that. Um, and a PS Vita. Remember the Vita? That was a fun little console. Ahead of its time, and now I don't think supported. Mm. Trading magic beans. Don't trade the magic beans. They're magical. You can't just give them away. What are you, mad? All right, there we go. Your ears are filled with sounds of the neighbor's dog mooing. Dogs don't moo. Did somebody, like, sell them a dog and... The heart is ready to raid. Is it? All right. Where's the, uh, my outro music? I need my outro music. That's what I do. All right. But this is, this is kind of a nice, chilled kind of, uh, what, what, whatever day is today's stream day. day. Yeah. Go. Thanks for the stream, PG. Hope you continue to get better and see you Sunday, Jim Love. We shall see. We shall see. I could get better. I could spontaneously combust. You don't know what the human body does. You know? I could trip and impale myself on a number two pencil. The world is filled with dangers. Danger. But we're going to raid Cameron to Corgi. We've never gotten a chance to do that, so we're going to do it now. And thank you for letting me know that they're on live. They are officially on live. They're going to be playing Chrono Trigger. Dawn, it is too late. We are wrapping up immediately. Okay, I just want to say how fun everybody was playing the elderly things. Like elderly that. rings? Elderly people with rings. That just sounds like a bunch of old buttholes. Elderly Elderly rings, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for being here. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang. <laughs>